Hello. <laughs> I can't do it. Hello, and welcome to episode 19 of Guardians of Parna, uh, where today we will be continuing our adventure, and they will continue to become the Guardians of Parna. Where we left ourselves uh, last episode, uh, the party reconvened um, eventually, uh, and due to some high perception rolls, uh, Bearwolf and Chitter figured out that there was an infiltration to the Temple of Ravorhu, um, and after interrogating a non-stealthy member of said people, uh, they quarantined him and put him uh, away, uh, waiting for the others to return. And once the others did, after uh, some shopping, they uh, stormed uh, the room uh, to find that he had broken out of his restraints, uh, but they basically all dogpiled him and charmed him uh, to no longer resist and to tell and divulge the whole truth, where he informed them that him and five others were hired uh, by an unknown uh, to capture Zan Falcon and take him to Dewhurst. And that is where we leave ourselves. Uh, so what would you guys like to do? That's not what we want to do. It's what Zan wants to do here. Well, listen, we're, we're, we're a team. We're, 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 we're all guardians together. So... Um... Let's get drunk. What's the worst that can happen? What did we do with the one dude? <laughs> we turned him over to the guards. Uh, okay, now you haven't you haven't yet. Oh, no, he's right. You, you inform me of your plans, and we left you guys at the temple. You still have him uh, restrained and charmed. And I have him by the collar. Correct. I mean, we could kill him. Are we taking him to the bar with us? <laughs> no. Maybe then he'll talk. We're taking him to jail. And that's, I think, what we're doing. That's the first order of business, I believe. Fine. But we don't want the other people, the other infiltrators, to see us taking him to jail. Oh, that's what I was doing. I was disguising him with my disguise kit. Yeah. Yes. And I dressed him up like a beautiful, no, a very ugly woman. And You did do that, jail. yes. Yes. You, you have a very harem, ugly, uh, yes. Old yes. harem person, something like that. Yes. It reminds me of old, my mom. Old harem mom. <laughs> I just want to say that. And off we go to jail. I've been there before. Okay, what is the marching order? I'm in the back. I'm behind chat. It's always suspicious when they ask you that. Well, I who's, think... Who's I in think, the front? Uh, Chad helping the old lady? Yeah, I don't think I'm going first since I have her restrained and i usually hang out with bear oh squeak squeak is tiny now i made him a little tinier oh. a boom just as a point of reference here can i get a larger size token please <laughs> <laughs> he grew boom he grew I'm stop me sure. stop me when you think oh. <laughs> the mountain just, you know, the, the same track. size as, you know, two Yeah, top. yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there you go. His last name is you. Large Boulder. There, you're in the wrong spot. In the back. That's not the back, that's the front. Wait, I thought Chad was up front. No, Chad is in the middle. Left is front today. Oh, left is front? Well, we did Sorry. it right is front. Okay, right no, is front. and Chitter's gotta stay here. Okay, right Wait. is front. It's fine. Okay, I'm in the back. Okay, left. <laughs> you guys... I'm over here now. <laughs> I'll meet you at the jail. See you later. Let's go to the jail. We'll see you guys there. All right. Okay. So, where is front? You see an arrow? Can you can get on the map. Ping. Left is front. What? Z Zinies is up front. This oh is going to be a long session. Who did it? <laughs> get that arrow out of here. Left is front. Zan, do you want to be up front? How many people does it take to figure out how our jail is? Yeah, I've been there once, but I was escorted. I think um, we've already been to the tavern. You've seen, you've seen the jail. You know where the jail is. You're intimately familiar just, with it. <laughs> if these guys are shitty, I'm afraid that if I'm very front, then they may just be able to, like, I don't know, sleep dart me and abscond with me. And yeah. 
I mean, I'm not cowardice. I'm just saying. Okay, well, Zynes is up front. Is Chad going to be right behind Zynes? That's fine. Let's go. Okay. And I'm behind Chad with my two mutts on the side and Kahoo flying above me. Okay. It so took you us get 10 your... to decide a marching order. You guys, this is gonna go you guys really well. get your phalanx. Phalanx? No. You get yourself set and you head out. Our um, bearings? Yeah. Never. Yeah. Bearings. Don't you be a your... fun session, guys. You get your bearings and you guys head know. out. Uh, to the uh, the main jail is in the tower district, uh, so you have to find yourselves uh, down uh, from the temple district. You guys find yourselves then sweeping towards the center. You taking direct route? Are you uh, taking the back roads? What what is your your plan here? Well, since disguised, we could just go directly there. I think we want to make it obvious that we're leaving the temple, so main road. Okay. Do we all need to take him? Because part of the thing was also that we were going to try to lure the people from the temple. So there, some of us, are we going to actually come back to the temple and then lure him? So we're going to make a lot of noise. And I'm going to start chanting, Zan, 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 to try and get other people to start chanting that as we go because okay. you know, he's known in town so we'll <clears throat> use that to our advantage should he play his musical instrument while we're I going think he should whip it out whip it out zan whip it out please be more clear <laughs> but if the other people are looking for him that's yeah. why we're being noisy to let him know that he's left the temple get him out of the temple and into town Okay, so you guys take the main roads. What are you playing, Zan Falcon? Uh, I'll be uh, beating on my drum, yo. Okay. You guys parade this ugly woman through the town, <laughs> taking her uh, to see all the things, uh, and uh, you guys easily arrive uh, at the um you guys you guys easily arrive in front of the prison uh prisoner transfer from cell block 388801 <laughs> what's your serial number the two guards come up uh excuse me ex excuse me i mean i'm sorry we have a prisoner for you uh, and who are you? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. The Guardians That's of Parna. Funny. They look at each other. Right. Where is he coming from? The temple. He was an infiltrator in the temple, and he tried to commit murder. You're whispering that part, right? Well, I'm not shouting to the crowd. I'm just talking to the guards. And explain that the he that's dressed as a woman? Yes. Now, when you say he, you mean I her? Pull off his nose and hat. Oh, go, go. Oh, yeah. go. I, th oh, I thought it was a woman. Oh, gosh. It's um, even uglier. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, gosh, she did nose. turn me into a newt, but I got better. Very very uh, um very well um sh should we hold him or yes what, what? high security okay. he's slippery right. okay he uh he's good at escaping so you might want to put somebody posted outside his cell to watch him right will do um and if you need anything, we will be here. Uh, and the other one kind of... Thank you for fighting the dragon and saving our lives. I give him a guard salute. You're welcome. From the back and of the crowd. They, 
uh, move up to take the prisoner from you. I hand him over. They immediately go inside, uh, apparently to start to start processing. Good enough for you, Zan. Okay. To the bar. To the bar. Huzzah. Okay. Um, do you have a specific bar you are looking for? Do you have a certain feather? sophistication feather. you're looking for? I think we're the going for the plucked feather. We want the there is feather. no plucked feather in this town. <laughs> we Bearded want the bird. bar closest to the temple. David Bearded Busters. bird. <laughs> David Busters. The one closest David to the temple? Good games for uh, David Busters. Good barcade. Bennigans, they have good knockouts. Do you have anything with horseshoes? Cornhole? <laughs> All right, Sam Falcon, make a, <laughs> make a survival check. Or investigation, investigation, investigation. Wait, do sorry, I get sorry. to help with this because I'm at the front with him? Sure. Can I do the survival check instead? Sure. Sweet. Okay. Um, when Inna suggests that you go closer to the temple, you guys exit. Uh, you make your way north, and uh, you do find uh, there is most of the bars are uh, middle to lower part of the city. Uh, there is one closer, not in the temple district, but close to, um, and it is a pretty, pretty raucous place. Uh, those of you from Parna know the green fly. It is where you go to have a good time. Is Zan going to play some music on stage? It might draw him in. Might draw him in. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm there to enjoy ourselves and and create a facade. I, I, I don't want to play. Come on, Zan. Get up there. Start clapping. <laughs> My love has left me. I have no muse. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't. Zan, 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 Zan. Zan. No, Zan. no, no, no. While they're encouraging Zan, Beowulf runs up to the, the bartender. I was like, give me six of your strongest drinks. How are you going to hold uh, them all? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I, you walk up, okay, you walk up to the bar. The barkeep is the gruffest looking man you've ever seen. Uh, he looks like he has attempted shaving a few times, and you can notice like some cuts on his face. But overall, like, he just feels that uh, Scruffy fits him better. Uh, he is big. He's wearing just like a smock. Um, he smells. Uh, and he looks like he's been doing this for a while. Um, but it also looks like he's broken up a few fights in his day as he's got kind of like a couple of scratches on his face. Um, and his hands just look like they can take care of some people if need be. Uh, so you walk up, you ask for six. He's distracted at the moment, but you kind of wait and he doesn't seem to notice. He's taking care of others. How do you say hi for where you come from? Same things as you did to the wisp? Uh, Bear was, excuse me? You put coins on the counter. He is still preoccupied, it seems. I put uh, two gold coins on the counter. I'll be with you in a moment. He continues with his work. He's under, he's under, it seems like he uh, is digging for something. And as you kind of lean over, you can see a small like crack sticking out. <laughs> I, I mean, bear with what I guess will wait. <laughs> with a gold coin in the crack. <laughs> Insert right. coin, get drink. Beowulf's gonna do a skill shot. He's gonna take a copper piece and try to, like, coin toss it. <laughs> it is a barcade. <laughs> okay, uh, roll a d20. This is so weird. <laughs> 11. Go straight in and you can't <laughs> even see it anymore. Does he notice? His eyes immediately lock onto you. 
I want to step up to there with Farewell. I want to step up next to him and kind of like, j just kind of like lean forward and be like, hey. He, he doesn't break his gaze with a Farewell. Um, I'm just going to wave. He continues to lock eyes with you, just staring you down. All while you see his hand is behind, <laughs> doing this motion as he is just can't quite. Hope he washes his hands. I mean, I'm hoping he'd be washing. Excuse his me, bum. sir. Can you please wash your hands after you're done with your business? <laughs> Can I help you, miss? Um, yes. Me and my friend here would like a uh, couple of drinks, please. You shouldn't have associated yourself with him. <laughs> couple? I am scared. How I many? Like, uh, six, please. What kind? What's the strongest stuff you've got? Hey, I may, I may look little, but I like it strong. All right, I, I'll pull it out. The drinks. Always be clear. <laughs> Insert giggle as a free action. <laughs> I'm so dying here, oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you wash your hands first, please? <laughs> How did this day even start like this? <sighs> Gonna be a great game, guys! How did this day even start like this? <clears throat> we can fix that in post, it's fine. Uh... <laughs> fix what? What are you talking about? Like this is Dungeons everything. and Dragons, come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh <sighs> okay <sighs> man I had a really good record for not breaking if all, this, just, um, all this bring stays it... in all it stays in Every if you want to just in. bring it over to the table over there where me and my friends are we'll be waiting right um, that'll be six gold barrel fan six gold over he scrapes it off uh, into his hand. What about his tip? That was uh, yeah. <laughs> You can handle that, Jitter. <laughs> I'm Just, nowhere near any of the um, <laughs> change. I'll bring your drinks. Thanks. <laughs> well, I was kind of like give like this little wink and then stumbles off into the back. Uh, I want to grab Beowulf by the ear and be like, "Come on, quit playing games. You can get us kicked out of here." Ow, ow, ow! <laughs> so uh, it is about this time. Uh, you guys get back to your. You are able to find a table. All six of you can sit at, um, but it is busy. Um, so there are a couple of uh, barmaids that are making their way to tables. But by the time one makes it to you, you guys are already like. Uh, no, we, 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 we have a server. And so uh, a couple minutes pass. Um, the same uh, friendly looking gentleman from behind the bar comes lumbering out with a giant platter. Um, and he sets it down, uh, one in front, of, in front of each of you. And he explains, strongest drink I've got. If you can put one of those down, come back for another. You can put that one down. Come back for another. If you could put that one down, I'll give you a free one. And he walks off. I down it immediately. Yeah, Bearwolf accepts the challenge and just chugs. <laughs> uh, make constitution saving throws, both I of you. I immediately hand my drink over to Chad. Yeah, you both down it, and it stings like the Dickens, but you're able to contain it easily. 
you know, inspired, I, I go ahead and grab mine and, and down mine as well. All right, make it, make a constitution save. Probably going to end very, very poorly. Drinking competition? <laughs> yes, it ended poorly. I told you. He just falls on the floor and dies. <laughs> so as you drink yours, uh, seeing that your companions could keep it down easily, you take a, a big old swig and it burns your esophagus until it hits your stomach and it does not agree with your stomach. Do I and have an advantage on this due to... Yeah, you, you uh, would because because of your, your feet. Yeah. It's not a poison, but it is a strong a strong liquor. Okay. His quaffing abilities. Yeah. Yes, yes, my quaffing abilities. Yeah, you would. So go ahead and just roll another one. Please be better. Please be better. <laughs> so still with your five, uh, <laughs> you drink it. It burns all the way down. It does not agree with your stomach. But instead of coming back up, it all sits there, and you guys, it quickly what alcohol does not that i know but i've seen enough so what alcohol does is it makes you really tired and you can't contain it and you fall face flat on the table san falcon is out cold can i giggle as a free action absolutely i do and then i go up to the bar and get another how many is it the fourth one free or the third one free? Four. You have three? to you have to drink three before yeah. he'll give you the. Well, the I was free. noticing what's going on, and I noticed that um, Z uh, Zainis gave hers over, so I'm gonna actually slide mine over to hers and tell her you can have mine. There's two free ones. <laughs> I will then, as soon as she puts it in front of me, I will put that one in front of Bearwolf. Bearwolf drinks it. All right, con save. Also, before I drank it, I wanted to put a, a hand on Zan's shoulder and uh, do spare the dying, <laughs> thinking he may have died. <laughs> just super okay. casually, like, eh. Okay, you, you can ca you cast the spell. Uh, he's just super unconscious. Okay. It just knocked him out because it is very strong liquid. Uh, but he's not, it, it didn't kill him. It's not like a poison. Gotcha. When he, when All he, right. When he's that drinking, you know of. When he's drinking that, can I go, Zan, Zan, what? What? <laughs> yeah. Woo! You keep this one down too, and you bear through it and you feel fine. I got two, Chad. Your turn. I'm, I'm waiting at the bar for mine. I put my glass down. Another. Oh, I gave you oh, my. I got one? Oh, all right. What's Anna doing with hers? I'm just casually sipping mine. I down this one. Oh, you start to feel a little woozy. You've, as a dwarf, you can keep your alcohol, but even for you, this is starting to get on the fringe. You still feel all right. Okay, I brace myself and order another. Yeah, Beowulf orders one more. <clears throat> oh, what number? Three. Three. Oh. All right. And he, as almost he had them ready, he brings them up on the table. I cheers, Chad. I needed to go get beer downstairs. Dang it. I'm sure none of this will affect any fight we have to get in. <laughs> no. I'm a dwarf. <laughs> you guys down him immediately, and he goes, Huh. That doesn't, that doesn't usually happen. Well, as, as, as though he had, he just kind of has them under. He pulls up the fourth one. That one's on me. Cheers again. Thanks. <laughs> it's I, like an old stale one under the counter. <laughs> I, I down this one too. Okay. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you both fall onto the floor, passed out cold. And he goes, I'll about do it. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Nice. I will go up to my to my buddy Chad and help him up off the floor. I'll go get Baron. You, you you basically have to pull him back to the table as he is just like uh Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll kind of like do that thing where I throw his arm over mine and just kind of like help him walk over to the table. I'll take Bear back. 
and is just watching like <sighs> so it's now chitter and the two ladies and you have three passed out uh men at the table you guys want a girly drink or something oh i want another one of these when i come one of those little umbrellas you don't count no this drink is just fine Mm, i'm not a drinker what do you like zanies well tea i mean there's just something about we're mixing magic and alcohol it just never ends well so working uh, fine for bear just, just tea is it okay anna do you want a tea no i'm fine with my drink all right i'll go to the counter and i'll try to get the bartender's attention um, I do uh, get a glass of water and because is Zan like at the table just slumped over? Yeah, and the other two are on the ground just. So I get a glass of I'm water. I'm going to hang bear up on the coat. On Zan's face. Because um, Bear has some, some half plates and I'd really like Zan to ID for me. <laughs> you, uh, Zan, you start to feel. Is it the ocean? How did you end up at the ocean? No, 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 no. Bath? Are you in a bath? No, 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 no. You hear the roar of people talking and clinking of glasses, and you open your eyes just slightly to see Inna. And I'm going, Zan, wake up. We're in a bar. Uh, am I dead? Uh, um, not quite yet. Oh, all right. I, I need something to drink. Here's some water. Oh, okay. Just immediately <laughs> quaff it. Just, just perfect. Who thanks? Oh, what happened? Well, you down a glass of alcohol and it knocked you out. Oh, that never happens. No, uh, no, no. It must be uh, the the lights and the candles. That uh, it's something. Something happened. Magical. I'm sure that did. As you're having this conversation, Chad bolts up from where he's sleeping <laughs> on the floor. Chad wasn't up on the floor. I got him up on the table with me. Oh, then Chad bolts up as he's awake and alert as ever. Do I get knocked <laughs> back from the, the from the recoil? It's a good drink. I like it. Am I actually on the coat rack? Did Chitter actually do that? <laughs> I put him up like on like his collar is like on the coat rack. <laughs> Did you draw anything uh, on his face? Not not until tonight when he's asleep. All right. Uh so I went to the counter to order some tea for Zane. Yes. Um you walk up and he's uh the one bartender is uh busy at the other end uh but one of the ladies comes back putting her tray uh under the bar uh, can i help you yeah i was wondering if you had any sort of tea drink um yes not usually asked for but yes we do uh cool can i get one please sure uh sh I'll, I'll bring it out Five minutes pass, and she brings you a nice uh, cup of tea. It smells minty. Oh, I don't know if she's here, but I'll give it to Zainese. Thanks, Chitter. No problem. And I will casually just sip it. It tastes good and minty. Pinky. Is Bear alert yet? Uh, he is. Uh, no, he is passed out on the on the coat rack that Chitter has put him on. Zan, you're kind of starting to get back, but you're still very groggy. Uh, Chad, you feel okay? I feel good. Um, I take another glass of water over to Bear. And try to do the same. Uh, Bear Wolf, you feel water. It wasn't raining earlier, but you think, and then more, and then finally just poof, this whole, uh, 
and you're awake and you, you your feet are not under you there's no ground and you're was, flailing was in. Say, he's like dangling his feet trying to like move as you do so you topple the coat rack and you are now on the ground can i smile <laughs> as a free action <laughs> what's going on hey bear here let me help you out oh thank you <laughs> what happened um alcohol happened oh can i have another no oh <laughs> Uh, by the way, could you, um, I want to get, um, Zan to ID that half plate that you have, if that's possible, if oh. I Yeah, here you go. He just, like, yeah. pulls it out. To me. Uh, I'll grab it and go sit in a corner for ten minutes. Now, what can I get Bear to do to stop him from drinking? <laughs> I can always count my things. I've got a box of dice, Bear. Ooh, I love dice. Let's play. Here, I have my die and you have your die. How about I use your dice and you use my dice? No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Can I persuade him in his drunken disadvantage state? It's a loaded question. <laughs> just like your dice? So uh, you're, just gonna, you're just gonna play dice? We're gonna play dice. Uh, what are we playing for? I got shiny copper. I got a lot more than you do, buddy. What you got in your bag? I can play you for... Hmm, what am I okay? I have daggers. Ooh, I like daggers. Um, okay, I have... I have black sapphire I found in the dragon's place. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> All right. While they're doing that, which of us has the highest investigation rating? Because mine is negative two. I got a seven. Five. I've got a six with, uh, with uh, proficiency or whatever. I'd like to keep All an right. eye on the door. To look for individuals coming in to keep an eye on. Make a perception check. There are a lot of people coming in and out as it is getting busier and busier as the night wears on. Um, but you don't see currently any cloaked figures uh, that resemble the guy that you guys apprehended. I'd like to keep an eye on the door kind of guardingly and i asked bear while he's playing dice if he could um you know furtively look around to see if there's anybody paying attention to us i could do that i could uh you want me to do an investigation for that uh just to see if anyone's like looking that'd be a perception as well okay. uh, disadvantage because you are you're pretty plastered Zanies can help people look out too because she's not participating and she didn't drink. Do you kind of look around and doesn't look too bad? Okay. Um, you guys don't seem to be drawing too much attention. Um, well, damn it. Well, I want to roll bear and I hope that I persuaded him to trade dice. Uh, fine. Uh... <laughs> Cooj, no, 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 no. Cooj, roll an insight check. Okay. You can just be straight. Damn. You can be persuaded that your dice just don't seem better right now. Cheater's dice look pretty cool. The glow in the dark. Uh, hands him over. <laughs> so, let's roll, man. So, uh, how are we doing this? Guys, how do you play dice? I mean, we're gonna... Um, <laughs> let's see. Highest roll wins. You could do sure. best two, two out of three, roll a d6. Whoever has the highest, uh, the their, whoever wins, basically. Okay. There's my first roll. Hey! What, um... Hers is loaded, your dice. I'll say, would Chitter have advantage because she's using his loaded dice? Oh, are you using his loaded dice? She yeah, took he's my loaded it. dice. Oh, I thought that you were, uh, I thought, she, okay, sorry. Well, 
how does your loaded dice work? I don't remember. They they always roll sixes. Okay, so then. So we'll trade rules. <laughs> so then. No, well, I rolled my. We can say he rolled, rolled a six. I rolled so you a six. you guys both rolled sixes. Okay, roll again. First yeah. one's a tie. That's amazing. Oh, that's a d twenty. <laughs> he still rolled it lower than it would have been if it. <laughs> Okay, so Cheetah rules a six and Bear rules a three. <laughs> and then you both rolled sixes. One more time, Bear. This is so rigged. Give up. Bear, Bear pounds the table. You cheat. <laughs> With what? Your dice? Those are my die. <laughs> He like takes he scoops the die back off the table and puts them in his bag, but he puts the daggers on the table. <laughs> you got two daggers. I want to be uh, keeping on the lookout still too while they're playing. Okay. Uh, roll perception. Uh, you take a long, hard look around the place. Um, you don't seem to be drawing much attention other than anyone else. There's tons of separate. You know, the, this place is roughly i don't know a medium-sized tavern and it is full so there's a lot of things to see a lot of people having their own separate conversations there's you know drifters there's other drunk people um you look around you don't see anyone really eyeing you guys um you don't see anyone approaching you you guys seem to have your own just little little nook well this doesn't seem to be working I don't think they followed us. Let's let's start a fight. <laughs> Zan needs to play. I agree. Zan needs to play. Zan, Zan, Let him know Zan, you're here, Zan. Zan. Music? Yeah. <laughs> Music. Has it been I 10 use... minutes yet? Am I finished casting my ritual cast? Yeah, I put it in your guys' journals. Sorry. Right, so. Yeah, it's been it's been about 10 minutes. All right, so I'll give the armor back to Anna and tell her that it's well made and, and what it is. And uh, I look for a stage. Is there a stage in this uh, tavern? Uh, this tavern is laid out so that it, there are tables. There's the bar. Um, there is an upper deck portion. Um, so there's not necessarily a stage, but you could go up the stairs and be seen by uh, most people. Or you All could right. just stand on your table. I'll stand on my table. Okay. Uh, as long as nobody's laying on it anymore. <laughs> can I, uh, can I like produce flame behind him just to like, as like a spotlight kind of thing to draw attention to him? Sure. Well, I mean, I was going to use uh, three cast, or uh, yeah, three cast of pressed digitation to really amp it up, yo. So I was going to have sparks and smoke and and then smells like of a of a warm hearth fire whenever I get up on the table, so everybody nearby is like immediately drawn. We go ahead. Do jazz hands next to him. Yeah, yeah, jazz hands definitely. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to cast mage hand and <clears> set down my my drum and have the mage hand just start a very <laughs> slow, methodical, but a deep look. Boom. Boom, boom, and just let that build. And then I'll grab out my bow and check the string on it, make sure, and, and go ahead and uh, start playing uh, a very nice um, jaunt. Little, little, you know, peppy little jaunt. And uh, yeah, all, all, all the while um, weaving in a little bit of magic there from the prestidigitation and causing a little smoke and, you know, fun stuff. Uh, just a grand old performance. While he's doing his performance, uh, Barrel's just going to be, like, drunkenly looking through his bag, and he finds that strange coin, and he just starts, like, looking at it that he got from that weird old lady. Oh, you're a strange coin? Okay. Yeah. But you can go ahead with his uh, performance. Um, roll a performance check. Okay. The notes, the notes seem to come out, but... Because you've been spending a little more time on your drum, your vial has had a little bit of neglect, and thus uh, your 
notes are coming out with just a little bit of a squeak and just a little bit of uh, that it doesn't quite draw the crowd as much as you start hearing, you know, faint distant boo, boo. Okay, well, and then be you quiet. Hear, Don't and boo then me. you hear you hear from the other side. You hear that's Zan Falcon. Don't boo him. And then you hear from the other side. You know what? I'll take this to you. And you actually start inciting a little bit of a riot as you're just continuing. And the fireworks don't help as you kind of have the <laughs> and you hear have the <sighs> and uh, a couple people, drunk people, start getting spooked. And you're starting to create a bar fight. Then I keep playing. Uh, at this point, someone uh, will... Uh, you see a cup fly from the, across the room. It lands at your feet. Uh, and you just continue because you think that's what people will put tips in. Uh, and you continue to play until you see punches starting to be thrown. And... Uh, there are people engaging in a fist fight. Well, how am I supposed to crowd surf if they're punching each other? You you guys all notice this as well. Well, Barrel's just, oh, just like staring at his coin, just not even caring about everything else around him, like trying to figure out what this coin is. As you continue to look at it, amongst the ruckus and amongst uh, the viol being played above your head, you hear, Barrel. Who said that? Come to me. It's Ethel. Okay. Maybe tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. I'll need you for your favor. O okay. Um, where? Back at my old tent, where you found me first. Okay, just wake me up in the morning. Don't be late. I'll need you at noon, high noon. Me meanwhile, Beowulf's like not saying this in his head. He's just saying it out loud. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shader just thinks he's like super drunk and he's just like... <sighs> Beowulf's going to give him some grandma kisses. <laughs> she makes the best Happy. cookies. Yeah. Uh, the crowd is continuing to incite uh, and glasses are being thrown against the back wall and things are starting to get unruly around you. Should, should we get I'd out like, of here, you guys? I'd like to put myself between our table and the crowd that's fighting. You guys are kind of uh, in a in a corner, uh, but there's a couple of tables behind you. So you can put yourself towards the majority of people, but there's some still going to be behind you. I do what I can. Uh, can a guy is you? going to rush you and immediately just try to deck you, but he is too drunk to even get to you. He trips on himself and lands at your feet. I just put a foot on his back just to keep him down. Okay. What are the rest of you doing? Shiny. I'm going to ask Anna and Zainis if we should get out of here as the, the uh, designated walkers. Well, it does seem that, number one, um, a brawl has started, and yet what we came here for isn't being realized. So, yeah, we should just probably go. Now, this time, Zen's totally going to play this off. Like, he meant to play poorly and inside a riot. He's like, guys, do you think the distraction worked? Do you think we get their attention? Should we head out and see if they follow us? Can you play a calming so song that calms the crowd down? I can sure try. As he goes, as he goes to do that, I'm gonna start slowly like heading towards the door. <laughs> but like, I'll keep my staff up, and like, if anybody tries to come here, we just like whack them on the head or something. I'll use the mage hand to to start like really like just a really loud, hard, just boom, boom, just trying to get attention, and then attempt to play a calming, uh, you know. Dude, do you want me to roll another performance? Because you know, no, I'm you so... can you you stop your song, and it seems that in between switching songs, things have gotten too out of control. You start your calming serenade, and it has no effect. I take Bear by the wrist and start kind of pulling him towards the door. 
Uh, he'll just follow. I shout at the crowd, stop it. You hear from the back, no, you stop it. Okay, if you stop it too. I'm coming for you next. Werewolf, well, like. But that's not stopping. That's the opposite of stopping. Yeah. And you see from across the room, someone starts like now like wading through the bodies that are entangled and punching each other to like make it for you. Okay. While being pulled. Oh, you can go ahead. No. Oh, well, Bob Barrel's being pulled away by Chater. He'll remember what Chad was saying to the dragon, be like, mimicking Chad, you're all under arrest. <laughs> you see a couple get spooked and they start to run outside the bar. <laughs> I try to get Zan to stop singing and go ahead and leave. I wait for the guy that's challenged me. Uh, it takes him a little bit to get over to you, uh, but as he does, he's like, well, shall we? Come on, come on! He is a uh, another dwarf, but he is normal dwarf height, so he is about four foot five. Uh, so he is looking up at you and raising his fisticuffs. I loom come down, on, then! I loom down at him and say, okay. No, come on! Come on! And I bonk him on the head. All right, uh, just roll a d20 and just roll a d20. Can anyone happen to take the, the tavern brawler feet? <laughs> you reach out and just like Andre the Giant uh, from the Princess Bride, you just, Kum! and he just, and falls down. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to jog him so hard. I see everybody else is leaving, so I follow suit. But it was a okay. bar fight. I had to fight. Come on. So you guys, uh, as you guys leave, you see that things have gotten way out of control. Um, the barmaids are are actually trying to 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 get break people up. The gruff uh, guy has uh, the bartender has made his way onto the bar and seems to be shouting instructions uh, while he is, and his pants are ever sagging. Uh, but you guys get out before it, anything uh, too bad occurs. Uh, you are now in front of the bar. It's been a few hours, so uh, it seems that uh, the sun has set and it is getting quite dark. I just want to crash at my place. <laughs> Let's get you guys to bed. Well, but is it that late? I mean, should we still try to lure the guys? I think if a few of our people are drunk, it might be a good idea for those for those um, assassins to try to like take them out while they're drunk. So if we like use our drunken friends as bait, then those of us who aren't drunk can keep an eye out and kind of catch them there. Does that mean we could still party? Woo! Well, problem is though, who besides Bear actually saw these people they didn't recognize in the temple? Me. So, Chitter, do you think if you saw any of these guys, you'd recognize them? No. I don't. I think the only reason we recognized them before was because they didn't look like monks we had seen around or acolytes we had seen around the temple. Are there any of those that you remember? The guy we brought to jail. I'm I'm good with faces. Yeah, you're drunk. One of them looked like him and pointed at Chitter. <laughs> I think I would know. <sighs> we could go back to the temple and see if any of the people that don't look like us show up. Why don't we go to the temple and go to and, and feed these guys and get some food in them? Food, 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 food. Yeah, let's do that. And then maybe if the bad guys are still in the temple, they'll find us in that eating room. Satine's not going to be happy. Well, Satine let him in in the first place. Wouldn't it be the first time we oh. brawled it where somebody eats? All right, we head back to the temple. I mean, we could go to that one place that we ate at that one time. 
I don't think we're allowed back in there. <clears throat> also, how did Chill get in this bar? Well, the reason I'm suggesting Temple is just because we don't know where they are, if they even followed us out of the temple. So we know the only, yeah. that we saw them was in the temple. So. And we would like be able to pick them out among the people that we do recognize. Exactly. I say we just head for the gate. Just just go walking down the street towards the closest exit. Where do they come from? Stillwater? Is that right? No. Where do they hire from? Well, we, we think Dewhurst. We could just go to Dewhurst and be like, what do you want? Cool. Let's go see Pops. So, Temple? Yeah, let's go to the Temple. Bear, make a lot of noise. Bear was just going to start yelling, Woo, Guardians of Parna! And then it has, like, finger guns and shooting <laughs> off Eldritch Blasts. <laughs> he, like, whips off his shirt. He's like, Woo! You get, a, you get a couple of guards that start to approach you, and, uh, um, sir, no, and they, like, are, like, trying not to, you're just, like, pow, 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 when they're, like, trying not to get hit. Uh, no magic after dark, please. I'm Beowulf Winter. I do what I want. We sure that these are guards? Uh, make a perception check. You with disadvantage. Nobody alarmed at my last Oops, wrong one. Uh, I mean, they look like guards. They sound like guards. They look like guards. They walk like guards. They must be guards. They're ducks. It's a duck. <laughs> Pull the bridge out of it. <laughs> they, But they quickly see that he's with you guys. Take care of your friend. And they start to back off. I will like reach around Bearwell's hands and just kind of like, like grab them and like hold them together like this so that he can't do the finger guns and keep keep his hands held together just like this. As you walk backwards in front of him. Yes, that is exactly what Zinees is doing. I I look over at Zinees. I was like, you know, if you try to slip a gold in there and tell him to hold on to the gold piece all the way back and doesn't lose it, you'll give him another one. That that probably keep him stop shooting off spells. You could put one gold in each hand and tell him that if if he holds them tight for long enough, they'll each turn into two gold. Yeah, yeah, I I, I concur. He'll buy that. Funny. I will do that. Then I will take out two gold coins and be like, farewell. Whoop. Be like farewell. <laughs> Just snags him. Okay, I, I learned this really cool druid trick. Okay, so you got to hold him. Okay, you press him against your palms like this, right? Come on, do, do it farewell, and then put your hands like this. And now you have to squeeze really, really tightly while counting backwards from one hundred in your head. Oh, he's gonna start over so many times. <laughs> And when we get back to the temple, if you've succeeded, then when you open your hand, there will be four coins instead of two. What comes before 100? 100. Okay. <laughs> and then I will leave. And then while he's doing this, I will kind of like be walking backwards and looking over my shoulder and like guiding him towards the temple. <laughs> You're just going to like stare at his hands. It's a it's a short jaunt, uh, but as you guys are going up uh, the incline to the temple district, uh, you have a little trouble, but you're able to make it. And uh, while you guys are on your way, I want Zynes and uh, Zan Falcon. You do notice um, that on the rooftops behind you about 30 feet you see a shadow and then you see another one and you notice that you probably are being followed albeit very sneakily and at quite a distance i'm gonna warn the group and uh tell them not to look back you know don't don't make it obvious but we may want to route these uh, foes away from the temple and yeah. in a sense where are we going to take them? Well, I know of an alley that has a um, a door on the ground. Ooh. 
That's a good plan. What did we leave down in that pit? Dead guards. Death. Cool. Don't be subtle about it. Let's go there. All right, Farewell. New trick. Somewhere. Random numbers so that Beryl gets <laughs> yeah. confused and has to start over. Yep. New trick, Beryl. If you do it from 500, if you count backwards from 500, there'll be 30 coins that appear. Intent on making that 30 coins appear, he's going to concentrate even more. And then as I guide him, I'm going to slowly, because I was already looking backwards kind of, so I'm just going to kind of start walking back towards that alley where they want us to go <laughs> while leading bear wealth. Well, that is within the tower district. So that's probably what, like a 20 minute walk from where we were going. Um, it's a, it's, well, you guys were almost to the temple. So yeah, it's like 10, 10 to 15. With, with our intimate knowledge of the temple district, do we know of any way that is either a out of the way where there won't be any collateral damage or an exit or you know an opening in which that we could um you know get these guys kind of cornered i, I assume well, that we'd know the temple district better than they do at this point and what we're our i would think that our goal is to try to provoke an attack from them because you know they yeah definitely hide forever so i think our goal is to try to get them so um Maybe more of us need to actually act drunk. And we need, well, I figure if we, you know, lure them in and find, you know, a susceptible place to, to, you know, engage them, that we could just stop there and, you know, hey, we could feign, like, act like one of us passes out or something like that. And we're all struggling to pick them up, you know, just put on a grand performance to lure them in closer. Cool. It could be um, dealing with Beryl's um, disappointment, <laughs> still having only two gold. He's well, just going to fight with the gold in his fists. There is definitely a place uh, within the district that you could go that you guys have kind of seen in passing, uh, if that was your, if that is your goal. I mean, definitely, I think that's the best uh, route to take uh, at, at this time. Sooner rather than later. Up to you guys. I'm drunk and disorderly. So you guys, well, you, you have two, so you have two options. You can go to the um, tower district and take them to the alley where you have a door, or uh, you can go back to like the top of the temple district um, where there is a small, uh, peaceful uh, garden with a fountain that you guys know of that is for prayer and meditation. Let's not fight in the place of prayer. Yeah, I mean, that's going to cause me a little bit of a internal struggle there. As, as much as I want to lure men, I don't want to disturb um, such a, you know, special spot. How close are we to the outside the city as a whole? Uh, it would probably it'd be still 10, 15 minutes if that's what you wanted to do. I think that would be better at this point to see is if we walk out the gates and pass the guards, if uh, if they'll pursue us out since they're so um, determined to get me. Okay. Uh, you guys then continue walking. You walk past the Temple of Vorhu, past a couple other temples. Uh, you take the... Uh, far north uh, way down uh, the, the cliff. Um, as you approach, it is, it is definitely dark. Um, most people are not out uh, except guards. Um, it's okay to be out, but th there's not a lot of people, so you guys are definitely sure that via rooftops and probably alleys you are being followed. Um, but as you start to approach the... Um, gate uh it does appear closed and the guards seem as though they are on watch for the evening 
excuse me, gentlemen. May we step outside? Um, what business have you? Well, we need to take our friend at back here, and I, I point at Bear Wolf. Um, he, he's got some silly madness going on, and we need to take him out to uh, go grab a, a, an herb uh, that grows on the uh, the mountainside there to uh, cure him. Uh, right. If you do leave, you, there will be no entrance until morning. That's fine. All right. You're sure? Definitely, most definitely. All right. Uh, all of you? Yes. Very well. He kind of pulls away uh, to make sure that everything is in order, but doesn't question you, and they open the gate enough so that all of you guys can slip out. Okay. So you are now uh, through uh, the north gate, and you have gone through, and you are on the outside of the city, and you hear as you watch the door close shut. Do we get the sense that we're still being followed after the gate has closed? Uh, I mean, you you saw some on rooftops as you walked out, and then the door shut. So right now you're standing outside of the city gate, and you're the only ones there. I say we we methodically and with with much noise and and obviously you know uh let's let's light up a light or a beacon or something to really give off ourselves and then start walking uh, as a whole and and to see if that's going to lure them out bear wolf follow the flame and i'll produce a flame and kind of bounce it back and forth between my hands and continue to walk backwards away from the gate does chitter still have the chalice that emits light yeah Light I have it, it in my bag. Bounce I can take it out. Head. Yep. Boop. Barof is still intensely concentrated on his fist, but he hears you and just is going to like look out of the corner of his eye and follow the light. So you guys now have a giant beacon that is emitting, and you hear from the top of the tower, you can see a couple of guards moving you here. Move away with that! You'll track the beasts! Start walking down the path. Yeah, you said we took the north entrance, so are we near the coast? Um, Should we go to the beach? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because then they could be sleeping with the fishes. Yeah, you can easily make your way up towards the the coast. Then that's what I would try to urge everyone to do and, and set off that as, as our path. Okay. Uh, you guys get up that way as you start to go away from the gate. Uh, as you kind of are watching your back, the gate never opens. Um, you don't see within your light radius or even your, your guys' dark vision, you don't see anybody because it's pretty dark by now. Uh, you don't see anybody behind you. You guys continue up until you can um, hear the lapping of uh, tide waves. <laughs> waves. I couldn't think of the word. Uh, hear, at that uh, point, I would I would convince rocks. everybody to to cut any light source, make it as dark as possible, uh, and have those with dark vision start scanning. And uh, at that time, I'll use my. Uh, telepathic uh, connection with Kahu and have Kahu fly up and fly around to see if uh, Kahu can see anything in our immediate vicinity. Okay. Um, are you going to use him as your eyes or are you just going to use yeah. him to... Okay. No, he's my eyes. You uh, get your connection. Um, you fly up. And so you guys are not quite on the beach. You're on kind of a, a rocky cliff. So you could jump into the into the water. Um, you've kind of found yourself away, kind of up, um, but you are on the coast. Um, and as you fly within the radius that you can, you don't see anything, uh, creature, person, humanoid, um, in your guys' vicinity. 
I think we should uh, stay here for a little bit just to see if, if they were truly following us. This would be a, a perfect time for them to, to ambush. I fall asleep. Okay. I was just going to be heavily concentrating on these gold pieces. I mean, we can have a, a little nice camping, uh, you know, out here. Beach bonfire! No, no, no. We need to keep the light low right now. 30 minutes pass, an hour. Continuing to sweep. You don't, you don't get anything. Okay. I'll put away my chalice and pretend to be asleep. Uh, I'll go ahead and, and real coo and, and uh, fold them up in a pocket dimension there and uh, then tell Zionese if she wants to make a, a small fire, she's more than welcome to do so. I, I curl up and act like I'm sleeping, but I also tell Chill to be on the alert and um, <laughs> use his nose. I okay. use uh, crazy as a uh, as kind of like a, a head pillow and, and just kind of lay down and pretend to close my eyes and I have uh, the wisp uh, uh, he's out like uh, circling our encampment and on high alert I snore extra loud okay another hour passes how many hours have we been out uh, about two two and a half who all is asleep Every couple of minutes, I want to purposely, like, distract Farewell so he screws up the numbers <laughs> and has to restart. Well, I'm not necessarily asleep. I'm kind of in a meditative state, just trying to be calm and heighten my senses as much as possible. So, Zainis and Enna are alert at the moment. Just me, Zainis, and Elena are basically watching. Well, we have Chill that's watching, and we have uh, a Mastiff that's watch watching as well. Another um, hour passes. Chitter would like to move over towards Zainia's and just kind of sit by her and be like, "Okay, hey. I don't think this is working. What else can we do? Uh, we can't get back into town for a little bit. Um, well, about that. We could go back into town. The we guard said into... we can't. <clears throat> we can get back into town. Okay. Um, How so? Stuff and things. Um, we can get back into town. Um, it's just... Once we do get back into town, and we... I mean, what would be the game plan if we were to get back into town? Well... Okay, so I can hear you guys, and I'm going to whisper, you know, only loud enough for you guys to hear me, but do you, okay, what do you suppose is the reason they didn't actually follow us out? I think it might be because we're all together, and they want to catch Sam by himself. Are you supposing that maybe I walk back towards the town to the nearest gate and pretend to try to get back into town and see if on the way there they try to ambush me and you guys are... I don't think that's safe because it's going to be... We would want to keep an eye on you, and since we're now out standing on the, or laying on the beach, pretending to be asleep, um, and some of us are, um, I think it would be noticeable if we tried to get up and follow you to keep you safe. So, one person could go with him, though. True. What if tomorrow we leave the temple, each of us in a different disguise, and we just blend in with the crowd, but keep an eye on him? That's not a bad idea. I would say at this moment, Beowulf is so intensely focused on these two coins that he accidentally lets us a, uh, a spell of darkness out. So it like he inks the whole entire area. You okay. guys made me ink. I, I can see through it, by the way. No, none of you can. He's going to touch the butt. Oh, under the shroud of darkness. Sorry, so guys. It becomes very dark. You can't see the stars. You guys can't see the moon. Even if you have dark vision, you are just inked. I take out my chalice. Does anything happen? No. My bad, guys. 
I, I really wanted these coins to turn into more money. Somebody slap him. I throw two copper coins towards Bearwolf and try to hit him in the head. He sees where they go and picks them up. It worked. How could he see where they went? Can we I have devil sight. I he can, can see, see it. through it. Okay. Will you let the coins go now? He puts can, them all into his pocket. Can you, uh, can you drop the darkness? Up. He drops it. <laughs> Are we also on the beach after the darkness is... <laughs> Stepping on the beach? Has subsided. Yeah. Yes. Let's get back to the temple. Let's get some real sleep. And tomorrow we'll head out in disguises. Kind of one at a time. Keep an eye on X. Go about our business. Shopping montage. Yeah. Fight the next challenge. All right, do it. So we need. So we need to get back into town. Yep. How do you yeah. plan to do that? <clears throat> Zinies would like to turn into a giant eagle, and I would like to. <laughs> I would like to, I know, I know it's going to take more than one trip, but I want to fly as many people as I can over the wall and back to the temple. Okay. Um, just make a general stealth check. Uh, you're going to be a giant eagle. Like an eagle. You only fly us halfway? Hold on. Got to pull out my monster manual so I can see what the, the stealth is of a giant eagle. Because a giant eagle couldn't possibly fly us all the way. Oh, I totally could. I doubt uh, that you're a giant eagle then, because I've we're we're taking it from our history books of Lord of the Rings, where they only fly you halfway. <laughs> <laughs> they have their reasons. All right, let me. Uh, okay, so it's gonna be a D twenty plus three. Eighteen. Okay. Good to know. Uh, how long did? Are you so that you're B shaping, right? Mm hmm. So that's indefinite. It lasts, for, eight, it lasts for four hours. Okay. You're good. You're good. Um, and, I, and I will take take the group as however many trips as it takes to get them to the temple. Giant a, eagle. You and could, I've got a fly speed of 80 feet. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't take you, you can do it in the four hours. Probably yeah. takes you. We'll say just we'll say it takes you three and a half. Yeah, we're gonna sleep in tomorrow, by the way. <laughs> but it is now very late. Uh, you get everyone uh, up in actually to the temple district, so everyone is uh, close. Um, you guys actually land pretty pretty close to each other, and you're all back where you wanted to be. You've gotten yourselves back into the city. Did I wake up? Yeah, it took some prodding, uh, but with her large talons, she uh, chucked you over, and you did let out a little bit of a scream and a little bit of pee, but you got on the eagle, and you got yourself uh, into the city. That's just normal for a dwarf. <laughs> a I, I, went, I went from Thunder Kitty to Thunderbird. Am I still drunk at this time? We are go. Boom. What? Am I still drunk at this time? Slightly. Okay. You Tips. haven't really slept it off yet. You're going to get the spins, man. Yep. You're in spin mode. As he's still trying to focus on these coins. Hang on to something. No, yeah. he, he gave up on him after he like let out a little ink. Chitter threw some fake gold coins at him. Uh, I'm going to add two to my inventory. They're two, two gold and two copper. Yeah, no, that's awesome. So, okay. So you guys all get back to the temple. Uh, however, while you were asleep, Chad, um, you dreamed as you normally did. And it was nice. And you were killing things, and it was good. However, your next dream took you... You started... You don't know how you got here, but you're, uh, you feel yourself... You blink, you find yourself on a boat. Around you is fog, and you're in the middle of what seems like an ocean. You start to grab yourself and understand that I'm, I'm in a rowboat. I was just on the beach. How did, I, how did I get here? Your rowboat, you're sitting at the front. There is no paddles, no oars, um, and you look around, and there is a lantern at the front of your boat, fog just emanating. However, 
Uh, you feel a looming dread and a gut feeling as you have no idea where you are. The lantern goes out and it is pitch dark. Your dark vision does kick in. And as you turn around to see what may have snuffed out the lantern, you turn back around and in the boat, uh, a figure of a similar size and a white robe and a hood is sitting there before you as the waves just move the boat ever so slightly. And you hear almost emanating in your mind. Hello there. You're not Naven. What does Dream Chad say? Do I control G Dream Chad? You, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> you, it is you. You just feel like you're having a dream. Oh, I, I am not Naven. Correct. What is your name? What is your name? I am Petunic, known as the Ghost of the Lost. Ooh, ooh. I'm Chad, Guardian of Parna. What do you know about the armor that you wear, Chad, Guardian of Parna? I list off its stats, you know, in, in old-timey Dungeons and Dragons armor talk. Then you know quite a bit. There is still much you know not. The wearer of this armor has a great responsibility on his or her shoulders. For I grant the wearer knowledge, wisdom, and guidance in exchange. I ask for the bearer to know my name and seek my mission. What's your mission? There are those who seek power by raising the dead. They use those who have fallen and perished as their own. They do not own or deserve this power. Cut them, cut them down. That was Naven's quest until he fell and took a different path. I would do that even without the armor. Then you sound like someone that can follow my charge. But I feel that you already are following a charge given to you. Is this true? To guard Parna, yes. And who gave you this charge? Uh, Satine at the temple gave us the charge, and it's uh, in following with Bravorhu. Ah, as you say, the name the uh, figure just winces as you have not yet seen a face as the hood covers, but it seems that uh, the name just does not sit right. Ah, Revoir who? Humble and good, all this and that. He does nothing to help those that need him. I believe a time will come when you and ye will need to choose Chad, Guardian of Parna. Wear this armor and seek its benefits. Or do as you have already been instructed to do. I don't see how these are conflicting missions. They are conflicting because I want all of you. I seek to have you as my champion. I want you to cut down the necromancer as your enemy until death and destroy all who practice the art. This will be your life who is the necromancer all necromancers and necromancy as an art it must be extinguished i'm good with killing necromancers then denounce revorhu and take his charges away from your current state of mind well, once again i don't see how they're conflicting they're conflicting because i say i do not like Revorhu, he is not of the same mind as some of us other gods and deities. He is to be renounced. Do you understand? He's starting to... You find that his voice is getting uh, curt and short, and he is just saying the name is very uh, painful. 
I mentioned that in a time of need, we called upon Ravorhu to aid a dead uh, party member, comrade, if you will, and was immediately revived. What can you do for me? What if I call on you? If you call on me and the armor does not do as you need, I will lend aid. I am the ghost of the lost. I aid those that are in transition. After they have died, I take them where they need. If your life has not been par, I may grant continual life. But I will always ask for something in exchange. It sounds kind of necromancery to me. Does Are you it? A necromancer? No. Necromancers do the opposite of my work. They do not allow the dead to the ship of death in peace. They keep bringing them where they need not be. Well, Revorho hasn't done much for me lately. How's that? A start. Okay. Your choice will come soon, but for now, if you take what I give you and use it as a gift, seek out Gumad. He is the one necromancer in Parna who continually is building an undead army and keeping it secret. Seek him out. I'm sorry, Gumod? Gumod. Gmod. It's a game. Yeah, I remember. Gary's mod. You gotta kill Gary's mod. I'll be on the lookout. Find him and cut him down and end his work. You got it, dude. If I see him, he's dead. Soon your time will come and you will be my champion. Okay. I think you're swell too. You watch as in a puff of smoke, the white robe dissipates as just fog and you don't have much time to kind of look around and you wake up and this is when the giant eagle turns you over and takes you back to Parna. That was a good choice of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are brought by a giant eagle. Uh, some two at a time, but she still has to make three trips. And uh, you guys find yourselves in the temple district. It is late, um, but what would you like to do? Kill all the things. I think at this point I'd be looking to retire for the uh, evening and get what sleep we can. If we all devise, so uh, you know, actually have a plan uh, ahead of time instead of uh, kind of flying by the seat of our pants on a giant eagle. Um, you know, with so far what we've done. Yeah, whoever needs to eat, eat, and then we should all get to bed. Yeah, I, I concur. Food and sleep sounds nice. Okay. And maybe guys... Zan should put Tiny Hut up so no intruders try to steal him in the night. Oh, yeah, I was thinking about he that. He could have a sleepover. Actually, so I'm, I'm, I don't need a full night's rest, um, and um, I'm also going to have Chill on alert. So I, I think actually we should, since these guys know that we're all back, that we're not necessarily at full capacity, um, I think we should guard Zan. Anna, uh, if you'll take first watch, I've already gotten half a night's sleep. Yeah, let's take shifts. How, what time is it? That all took three and a half hours, so. Yeah, so it's it's, like... it's past midnight. Yeah. Just wake me up um, when you need to go to bed and I'll guard Zan for the rest of it. Are, am I allowed to bring the dogs inside the temple? We can bring chillin'. Let chillin' and it is uh, sleep is sleep. it's late enough that 
there's only you you do notice as you guys walk in um that there are uh, you know there are the pillars and then there's the giant uh silver triangle um right. there are acolytes at each of the pillars um and they are watching anyone going by i mean and as you guys as you guys come up um they are they you... acolytes or yeah, yeah do we recognize them no no no. Yeah. you recognize okay. you recognize them um they're acolytes um they welcome you back um and one um Satine is in bed, but he told us to inform you if you came back that uh, we have done a full count. Um, everyone here is who they say they are. We have no extras, and it is the perimeter is secure. We well, have acolytes doing uh, rounds every four hours, and we are taking shifts. Uh, police should be safe. Did you secure the catacombs underneath? We have not, as the door will not move for us. And if it won't move for us, it shouldn't move for anyone else. Good, good. Well, we, we still notice some wolves on the prowl, so to speak. So uh, definitely be alert tonight. Our shift has just started and we are ready. And we'll be on alert too. So if you do, guys do see anything, if feel free to come get us. We will come straight to your rooms. Cool. So yes, the dogs are, are allowed in because they're letting you guys in because they know who you are. Um, you can rummage through the kitchen for like dried meats and a couple, you know, loaves of bread and stuff. But um, for the most part, it's quiet and there's only a few that are maybe up on a fast or uh, they are walking around meditatively. Um, yeah, I would uh, grab a small little bite and maybe uh, extra little dried meat for the dogs and coax them into my room and uh, have them lay on bed with me. And uh, uh, instead of casting Tiny Hut, I'm going to entrust my safety with my friends and, and comrades here and uh, I'll be looking to go to sleep. Um, I'm also going to have Chill join your dogs. Yes! Um, and uh, also give them an opportunity to get to know each other. Yay, all the puppies! Yay! There's a lot of sniffing of butts. Yay! And that was just with Zan! Yay! <laughs> They're socializing. Zan does it back. While he did gain intelligence from that potion, he... He's still Zan. Still like you Zan. Can't, yeah. <laughs> I think the rules uh, the rules today have proved he's still Zan. Um, okay, so who's taking first watch? Okay, Anna, and where are you, you going to be watching? Just from your room listening, or... Don't want to be in the hall and obvious, in case they make it past them. I think for my watch, I'm actually going to camp out in Zan's room. Uh, okay, so Inna, Zan, the dogs are all in Zan's room. Uh, Chad, Farewell, Zionese, what are you guys doing? Sleeping. Sleeping. I will... Zionese will go ahead and rest because she's been up for a while, so I'll rest and then uh, before I go to rest, I'll tell Chad to wake me up when he goes on shift and I'll do my shift with him. And then I'll go to sleep. <laughs> Let's do it. You know what I'm up to. Let's go. And Everyone finds themselves uh, asleep. Uh, you wait about 20, 30, 40 minutes um, just till there is not a peep coming from anywhere slowly open your door look down go ahead and make a stealth check nice oh don't clap <laughs> you make your way across the hall and you open Zionese's door very 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 slowly what would you like I to do no window um 
Well, you know what I'm looking for, so. Make an investigation check. Uh, oh, you did that with, okay. Is it all good? Is it? Oh, shit, it's all frick. Sorry. 22 is still good. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Zynes, where do you keep your bag of holding? Typically, the bag of holding, I keep that, uh, like, inside the waistband. <laughs> yeah, sure you do. Okay. No, not, like, inside the bra strap, inside the mm -hmm. waistband. Yeah. I sleep with my backpack on. That's a, that's a not thing. Not my backpack. He said, where do I typically keep it? That's typically where it's kept. He didn't say well, where moment, I Where is it? While sleeping, <laughs> where, do you keep, where, where, where do you keep it while sleeping? Your, your room is locked. Probably just next to me on the nightstand. It's her pillow, of course. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> so you is. so you make your way um do you sleep with a candle on Zionese? uh no this is not my character that's afraid of the dark so no i don't i do have okay. low light but oh yeah well there's no light in here okay so you have to being quiet you are still slowly i'm feeling around making your way <laughs> over Um, you uh, eventually find the bag of holding. Okay. I'm going to message you. Um, and I didn't hear her with a tw 27 stealth roll. <laughs> That's right, Clibs. <laughs> Even Chill didn't hear her. Good. Okay. Okay. All right. So I do that. Am I good for that? Yeah. Okay. And then. Okay. Um, make a make a straight dex roll. Uh, so dexterity plus your d twenty plus dex. So not a saving throw, just a dexterity check. Like that? Yeah. How many uh, owlbear eggs are there? In the bag of holding, there are eight, <laughs> there are eight owlbear eggs in the bag of yep. holding. All right. Uh, go ahead and make a perception check. A uh, Zynes. <clears throat> <laughs> so, 26. Chitter, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You try to take together and you drop them. <laughs> Zynes, you wake up and you have dark vision now, right? So you see standing there, reaching into your bag of holding with now a satchel full of owlbear eggs. Chitter. You can't see inside my bag. I just have a bag with me. It is pretty full. Okay. Whatever. And anyway. You dropped the two eggs. Shh. It's, <laughs> they didn't break, sleepy. right? You're sleepy. <laughs> no, they my broke. My hand is in the back. You're a murderer. I am a murderer. Jeez, oh boom. my! the worst. I'm done. I'm You're done. the worst. I smell omelets. Shut up, you guys. <laughs> That's not how eggs work. Well, it's the root now. We got to eat the... Did they break as an egg, or did they break oh, as little baby owl bears? What do you think? Okay, so I think baby like... owl bears. That's balut. We're gonna eat it. <laughs> Chicken in the morning, guys. It's, shut up. No. Anyway, what's gonna happen now? Okay, so across the hall or down the hall or whatever, we're on high alert. I don't think. So did we hear that? How dare you? Make a perception check. Wait, make a perception check. Well, is Zyni's room next to Zan's room, or is it a couple rooms down? Zyni's room is next to Chad's room. Let me look. I believe. I have, I have a map for this. <laughs> oh, I, like, I've never, I have a, wait, I have a I've map for seen, that. <laughs> I've never seen this map. I want to see it. No, no. We, oh, none of us have seen this map. Okay. Sorry about the whole advantage thing. Actually, I rolled at disadvantage. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, just so we're clear. So if you accidentally just, roll advantage or disadvantage, so. it's always the the first roll. 
is so if you, if, if you roll it twice and you're not supposed to it's going to go with the first roll so disadvantage or not it, it would have been the three the the first roll is me the second roll is chill so then the second roll would have been an eight well no if he's smelling then he gets the 18 if he's not then he gets the eight he is well what, what he smells me so what it's actually smell and hearing i believe are the two things he has advantage on and okay so he sh and it this was a hearing thing. It was basically just the the eggs breaking. Um, well, and them waking up and talking. I'm just sadder than I was at the beginning, anyway. Yeah, I mean, the massives would get keen hearing and smell as well as well as chill. Well, I guess that would depend on Boone's map. Yeah, Wolf's getting a great night's sleep right now. Okay, let's let's play let's play this out first. Zinies, you wake up and you see chitter. Produce flame, just just in my hand, just so just so I have light, a better light source. Sure. What are you doing? Hey. Hi. Here's the you thing. be sleeping. You would think that. And why are you? What? Why? Who? Why are you holding what? my bag? And why are what there, Why is there eggs on the eggs? floor? I don't. What? What? Sorry. Do you want charred feathers? What? <laughs> I just have a Mexican standoff right now. <laughs> Why are you in my room? Uh, the thing is, so wait, okay, so wait, do I have eggs in my arms at the moment? Or yeah. is my... no, you, no, you got them all They're in, in my bag. You got six the in the two. bag, two in my hands, out. like in her bag. Uh, no. Well, you you were pulling them out and <laughs> you accidentally dropped two of them. So then you would have probably dropped the bag and you just are like. See, so all you know is that there's two things on the floor. Okay. And my bag is holding is no longer on my thing. It is. And it's on you're, the floor. you're not wrong. Here's the thing, Zionese. <sighs> and I, I'm going to pick up her bag. I'm just be like, hold on. I'm gonna pick up her bag. I'm gonna reach in there. And I'm gonna pull out what I had put in there before I went in, or before I before I I told Boom. I pull out a daisy chain. And I was like, I was just trying to put this in your bag, Zai. That's all. And those eggs fell out when it happened. Okay. Question, Boom. Yeah. <laughs> My character knows how the bag of holding works. Do I know she's completely lying? <clears throat> because of the way the bag of holding works? I did put that in there. No, no, I believe you there. But with the, the logistics of a bag of holding, in order to pull something out of the bag, you have to know what you are looking for in order for it to come out. If it was to just flip over, nothing would fall out. Well, you can, you can make everything fall out, but... If you turn the bag inside out. Right. She's saying she's saying that she's she's she, calling your your bluff on mm -hmm. uh, those falling out. Is she yeah. gonna tell me that? Well, I was just making. I was just yeah. <laughs> um, well, I, I, I've just told you what I've told you. I was trying to put this in there. I was trying to put this in, in your bag. And that's then all. why are the eggs out of the bag? I had to see if there was enough room for this, and they. So came out when I knocked everything out and they just they broke and it's really sad because didn't need to risk those lives is it because you're a bad bird mommy I'm a good person <laughs> so if I pick up the bag of holding so I'm gonna pick up the bag of holding and I'll distinguish I'll extinguish the produce flame and I, I want to reach in and try to pull out an owlbear egg there's nothing that comes to your hand Chitter, where are the eggs? Kaka. Chitter, uh. I, will I will produce flame again. <laughs> where are the eggs? The eggs, what, the, the two on the floor, they broke. Okay, where are the rest? The rest of what? The eggs. What eggs? Similar to the ones that are on the floor. I don't know. They're your eggs. 
Why were you trying to take the eggs out of my bag? I wasn't. I was trying to put this in your bag. The only way to make things come out of the bag is to be thinking about that when you reach inside to pull them out. Even so they would I not don't. have fallen out. Even if I dump everything out of the bag? Then everything else would be on the floor. Not if I put it back in the bag. The only thing I didn't put back in there are the eggs because they broke. Sorry. I don't know where your other eggs are. Not my fault. You're, you know, difficult keeping things together. Why are you trying to steal from your friends? I'm trying to give you something. And you know what? I'm keeping it now. Isn't the other bag right there that she put the eggs in? It's probably on her back, but I don't know if I would be able... When I see the bag bulging behind her... Squeaky's just like... <laughs> I mean, they're, they're big in size, so I mean... Right. I would, why I we would, put... I would Those think... are Kenku eggs. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to tussle with this intellect? I do. What do I need to... Uh, I want to know where the rest of my eggs are. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just telling you that I'm trying to put this in your bag. Okay? Can I inside check her? Yeah. Uh, Gabby, roll a deception check. <laughs> she is full of crap, and she's... <laughs> Up to, she's up to something. He's up to something. Return those eggs, Chitter. Why? Why do you want them? Because I was entrusted to hold on to them and keep them in the bag. And what were you going to do with them? I'm waiting for a group decision. It is not your decision to make by yourself. So I don't you trust give, the group's decision. You need to give I those eggs back to me. To ignore it. You need to give those eggs back to me. <laughs> I want to make sure that they're safe, whatever the cost. Even if that's what I'm doing. I don't think so. I think Have that you were willing to go with whatever group decision there was, even if it meant a bad end for these eggs. In hindsight, this was probably not the best decision for me, considering two of them are broken. <laughs> and I'm not as sneaky as I thought I was. The point is, why don't give, you let me hang give on me to the them? eggs back? What? How about I hang on to them? Give me so I make sure that the well, decision clearly you is good. can't handle them if you hey. drop two of them. Hey. We're not Give all me the eggs. I want to talk to the group. It's at this point that the dogs would perk up uh, in Zan's room. There's definitely something going on down the hall. By down the hall, I mean catty corner. Okay. I, I immediately <laughs> unsheath my sword and like could come raised up for like what's going on? Yeah. They are this the dogs sucks. are at the door. <laughs> I open the door and follow the dogs. They go cuddling his pillow. <laughs> they go catty corner and they are at Zainese's door. I immediately try to open the door. Yep. Uh, is the door open, locked or unlocked? That's uh, it's whatever chitter. However, chitter left my door. How did you leave the door unlocked? Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're in. <laughs> so storming in, you have Zan, probably Enna, three dogs. Well, two dogs and a wolf. And we look around and we see it's just the two of them. What's up, guys? Two eggs on the floor broke it. I make sure the mastiffs don't try to uh, eat that and tell them to sit. Joe goes to eat it and I let him. <laughs> <laughs> make sure Chitter's watching every gobble. <laughs> you did this. You did this. Bad Chitter, bad. Ugh. I hate all of you. I hate this game. I hate this website. I hate this series. So what's up? You know what? I'm going to opt out. I'm just opting out of this conversation. I'm just going to give me go. back those eggs. I'm just going to go. No. I'm just going to go. Eggs. You know, things are good. Caught and say, no, nah, never mind. No, I do that in real life all the time. I'm good. I'm going to opt out. We're blocking the door. There's no way out. I'm just gonna. Chitter, scoot, I'm just. Chitter, scoot, I'm just gonna, excuse eggs. me. No. Sorry. I'm just gonna. No, it's clear. Does Chitter know how to fly out the window? 
I don't know, Zionese. Why don't you tell him? So where's the bag of eggs right now? Well, there the bag of holding is on the floor. And then there's two broken eggs, and Chitter's bag is bulging with eggs. And I'm not and letting you leave. So, Zanis, what's up? Obviously, Chitter's doing something wrong. Hey, why you gotta make that assumption? What is that? Because you're not telling me what's going on, and you're trying to leave the room. Fair points. But. Give me back the eggs, Chitter. Oh. I Chitter snuck into to. my room in the middle of the night, got into the bag of holding, and took the owlbear eggs. Why would you do that? Oh. You know, I really feel like this all started a long time ago. When I tried to make peace with the owl bears, and you guys had to take eggs that didn't belong to you in the first place. So I was trying to... We only took the eggs because we had to dispatch the uh, mother... Uh, because she didn't care. She she was going to maul us. She was going to maul us. Okay, Albert, don't so you, care. Yeah, you speak bird now. Do you? You speak Orin? I, you definitely heard me tell it to chill out, and it did, and it went back to its nest. Where were you? No, uh, I think it ran back to get another weapon and came charging back at us. That is a racist assumption. Why would you? Well, you know that? what? Here we have a rogue that can't handle eggs. I mean, you know, it's a crazy world we live in. You know what? You guys are the worst. I uh, cast suggestion on Gabby, and uh, the the two sentence prompt would be uh, disclose of the yeah. eggs and the purpose behind it, and give them back. She's got to do a wisdom saving throw. It's only because you're passed out, Bear. Uh, yeah, make a wisdom saving throw, Gabby. Yes. Nice. Bear, I would hope you would have my back in this situation if you were here. I got my pillow and my bed. That's All what right, I got right now. now. Bear don't care. So I suggest that um, we give the eggs back to Zanis, put it back in the bag of holding, and we have a discussion in the morning about the safety and plan for the eggs. Well, you uh, chitter immediately upon the spell being cast, uh, feel compelled to tell your true plan if you have not done so already what you were going to do with the eggs and then you do feel compelled to give them back so what what was the true intent for the uh, the plan of the eggs i was going to bring them to a sanctuary <clears throat> any more which sanctuary i was going to find that out tonight I was going to go into town and try and find a place that would take better care of them than you people. Were you going to sell them? And me, apparently. <laughs> no, I was not going to sell them. And if you'll notice, and uh, if I could just get you back a holding real quick, I actually paid you for them. You uh, don't seem too distraught over the two you broke. You don't know my life. Wait, boom, uh, real quick. If she's charmed into telling the truth, can she be us during this time no. and try to tell I, I told Boom what I did. Yeah. Okay. So, she, no, she, I paid you for them. She has, she's not charmed into telling the truth. She's charmed into, dis, you told, she's only charmed to, dis <laughs> you didn't say tell the truth. You just said, yeah. The okay. She is charmed to disclose what she did with the eggs. I am answering back. your extra questions. Extra. I'm, I'm loving this right now. So I will, I will hold my hand out for the eggs. Yeah. So she's supposed to give them back. To give so. them back. So she's yeah. back. And I you will have put the them eggs now back into the bag of holding. Okay. Okay. Actually, the sanctuary is not a bad plan. I don't know what anybody else intended to do with them, but we can totally talk about that in the morning. Upon uh, giving back all six eggs that you have in your possession and disclosing, the spell fades and you are no longer charmed. Can I go? Absolutely. Friend, I, I would hope in the future that you would come to us directly instead of trying to sneak about with ulterior motives. I didn't. We have trust to trust each this. other. No, I didn't trust you with this. I trust you with my life. The 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 bears. So the owlbear lives are greater than your companions. Does this threaten your life in any way, shape, or form? No, but you can apply it to other things. It immediately makes me doubt you. So, so have a good night. Look. I'm going to bed. Get her out. 
Night, Mr. Bird. Chad adjusts his sleep and goes, oh, Chauffer! <laughs> and goes back to sleep. Dan's going to want to go back to bed. Bear was still trying to count back from 500 in his head. <laughs> it is good. How Love many times it. is he going to try to do that on his own? I think it's from only while he's on. drunk. From now on. That's just all he does. He's going to he's gonna have gold. In his fist. He's going to have Rain Man Every moments. Every time he goes to cast that spell, <laughs> he's going to drop a coin. <laughs> Do you guys return to your rooms appropriately then? Yeah, do we get to finish sleeping? Uh, you do. You okay. change shifts. No one has any issues. There is no intruders. And you all get a full night's rest. And just so you points. know, I didn't, I didn't go inside Zan's room. I stood guard like a guard does outside his door. Oh, yeah. That's the and no, Chad. no mischievous birds lurking around. You're supposed to be unbiased here, okay? You made your uh, decision. Just a bird. No birds lurking around. You guys get half your hit dice, full HP, full spells. Uh, you are awake, breakfast as usual. What would you like to do? Can I give uh, Chitter the stink eye the whole damn morning? And what? What's for breakfast? Is there any chicken and eggs? No, Chill ate it all. No, I'm, I'm, Bearwolf's curious. He's hungry for breakfast, and I'm asking Boom, what's for breakfast? There are, so baked sweetbreads and fruit this morning. All right, Bearwolf's going to grab himself a big old plate and just start chowing down like nothing's wrong because he doesn't know what not, happened. Not those sweetbreads. Anna grabs a plate too, and she goes over to Bearwolf and asks if uh, she had the half plate identified, and she asks if it can be hers. Yeah, go ahead and take it. I have no use for it. Thanks. And she puts it on. Yay! What's your AC now? One more point than it was. Uh, 14. And she huh. initiates the conversation as everybody else is getting food. She initiates the... She starts saying, hey, everybody, by the way, so there was a thing last night, and... So, Chitter is worried about what is happening with the owlbear eggs. Um... She voiced that opinion under duress after, by scrambling two of them. After so, breaking into Zinese's room in the night, everyone should know that she did this. He, sorry, he. Um, and so his idea is that we should give the eggs over to a sanctuary for Albers. Um, and we told him that we would discuss it this morning. Chitter, how could you steal from one of our own friends? <laughs> how dare you? I just, I, Kluge, or I'm sorry, Bearwolf. Yeah, me too. I have never taken from one of my friends. <laughs> Stick with me here, man. But we I, should give him to a sanctuary. <laughs> I, I ignore Kluge. I'm sorry, God. I ignore Bearwolf, and then I say... I don't think those exist. Sanctuaries, that is. Can we not set them free in the wild or, or um, set, put them in an environment to where they can hatch and then just roam free? Oh, because they immediately come out of the shell able to protect themselves. That's why they're so close to their mom. Then they attack travelers on the road. And then we have to kill them. Or not. Because we're guardians of Parna, and that's originally what we were hired to do. Right. So, Kill innocent people. Right. That's so what we were hired to do. If Chitter wanted to steal the blood from Zine, Zine's, then why don't we just make Chitter responsible for all six of them? Because she killed two of them. Why Why give her six more Did to kill? And accidents happen. At least I didn't kill, like, eight of them. Yeah, but oh, that would if cool. something happens to him, that's on his conscience. Well, apparently it's been on Chitter's conscience for a while. Yeah. I would, like to point out, I would like to point out that the eggs have been perfectly safe in my possession this whole time unharmed. But what were you going to do with them? I was waiting for a decision with the group. 
Have has anything happened to them? No. Have I sold them? No. Have I trashed them? No. Have I dropped them? No. <laughs> fight, 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 fight. <laughs> do I uh do I see Tom in, in the having breakfast in the area? He is having breakfast. I, I, I yell over at Tom. Hey Tom, I got a question for you. His eggs his egg, yeah. <laughs> His face is full of, uh, like a bite of apple. Like, whoop, 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 right. And he like comes on. He comes on over. Tom, in all your studies, have you uh, have you ever heard of an owl bear sanctuary? Um, there are some that devote themselves to raising animals as owl bears to not be so aggressive. Yes. Do they take them as egg form and raise them from them? Or do they have to be hatched? There's some that would take an egg or two. Hmm. Do you know of the closest one? I wouldn't call it a sanctuary. I'd call it more of a nursery. And it would be north of the city, up by the coast. Is it ran by druids? It is. Okay, well, uh, thanks for the information, Tom. Uh, you've aided us in quite a illuminating topic, and uh, sorry for interrupting your breakfast. It's okay. <clears throat> as much as you like to say that you would have been fine with me having taken them to a sanctuary, I have heard Chad talking about selling them. Chad, is this true? He's a businessman. I You've said, talked about it? I said that that's a possibility. Sure. I mean, he just might be crazy enough to do it. But also kind. Burn your shack to the ground. So it sounds like if we had just had a discussion about this before, that we could have avoided this whole thing. Or at least spared two of their lives. Or had a discussion about it like a month ago. Chad yeah. says, I, I even forgot we had those things, so I'm sorry. <laughs> well, Zainis, what do you... What do you think? There's a sanctuary north of town, ran by druids, that can take them, hatch them, and raise them not to be so aggressive. B-E, aggressive. Um, I mean, if that's what the group feels we should do, I'm I'm okay to do it. I have no problems transporting them there. I mean, I druids are. I mean, we are not really obsessed, but I mean, we do have the affinity for nature and animals, and we want to keep them in balance and protect them, and right. don't want to see the uh, like a species die mm -hmm. out. But at the same time, we do need to protect the humans as well. So, I mean, I'm okay with this. I was a proponent on, on taking the eggs, not for, for gain. Uh, you know, I, I've through the whole time I've been on, you know, hatching them and, and finding a way to, to raise them or whatever since, you Peter know, goes, Psh. Psh. Hmm. I, so it says the one, Never mind. I clear my throat, speak to the group. And I said, we're missing the real point here. There was no meat served with breakfast. How can we let this go on? Ask Chitter for an egg. Where's the chicken? <laughs> and then I sit down. Vegetarians eat eggs. I uh, I call over to Tom. Hey, Tom? Yes? Why is there no meat with breakfast? It's Tuesday. Oh, thanks, Tom. No problem. What's Tuesday? Yeah, guys, what's a Tuesday? Apparently not Taco Tuesday. Aren't you supposed to get two meats? It's two for Tuesday. <laughs> That's tomorrow. Two for Wednesday? That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. It doesn't, doesn't have to. I thought it. I thought it was Wine Wednesday. That's where Never everybody mind. wines because they didn't get meat on Tuesday. Oh, bird. Yeah, sanctuary. Yeah, do the Albert sanctuary. I'm good with that. We don't have to think about them anymore. That's all I've been worrying about for this conversation 
Good. Isn't there still assassins after Zan, and we're worried about owl bears? Well, plus on top of that, we have so. we also have our final trial. Yes, let's focus on the issue at hand and forget all about this and take them to the sanctuary. Yeah, just have Tom do it. Upon saying final trial, you see that at the end of the table, Steen has appeared. Did someone say oh. final trial? Holy shit. Dude, no, you no, really we didn't. You really got to announce hey, yourself. <laughs> So we do not call over to Tom. No, 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 no. I said sundial. I was talking about the sundial out front. Oh, oh, yes. We've been meaning to get that fixed. It's always wrong. Um, but really, I do think that it would take some time. Would you walk with me? All of you? Well, um... No, uh, well, are we staying indoors or are we stepping outside of the temple? We'll go to the courtyard in temple boundaries. Is it open? Yes. Where people could, like, be looking down from the roofs? No. <clears throat> okay. So, I whispered to everyone that we're still on guard, that if we're being followed or whatever, that we're watching out for that. I offer an apple to the Mastiffs to see if they'll eat it. But, by the they way, they like, try uh, to eat the whole thing. They do. Boom, I'm adding charges to my Staff of Frost since it's a new uh, day. Okay. Um, yeah, you know, as we prepare to walk with Satine, I'll holler over it. And charge him with, with this, uh, taking the owls up there since he knows and he's done all the study and, and, and he's got, you know, That's reverence for, for life. Tudor, are you good with Tom taking the eggs to the sanctuary? I trust Tom. And Tom's the man. He's been there for us since uh, I was in prison. I, um... I, I, I can make sure it is done today. It will take me a while, but I can do it. Thank you, Tom. Where are they? I will pull out the six eggs out of the bag of holding and give them to Tom. He goes and gets like a gunny sack to hold them, uh, but uh, he holds all six. I turn to Zyne and I say, uh, the odds of me getting that gold back? What gold? I don't know what you're talking about. All right. I want to lock your door then tomorrow night. You only told me that uh, you were giving me this little golden... I told thing. him I paid for them. You heard me. You didn't tell Zymes. I... Well, I didn't hear anything. Were you not there? You said oh. you gave me a crazy <laughs> chain. You, you never did tell her that you gave her the gold. He, she was I, right behind me. I was there. You said you paid for them, but you didn't say how. Yep. Okay. So how have you paid for them? I put gold in her bag. How much? 300 an egg? 300 gold. Boy, you were ripping her off. How dare you? They're worth like a thousand gold apiece. I They're owlbears. I a impoverished land. You're a rogue. And you've got the largest cover Weren't of us you all. you just bathing you don't in know. gold in a cave? You don't know. Okay, plus, you've been lying to us the entire time. So how do we even know how much you put in? Entire time what? Since last Since we've done. Since yeah. last night. Uh -huh. The only time that you haven't lied to us, and I, even then you could have been lying, was when he said that for you to reveal. Count your gold. You should so, know what's in your bag. It just makes me wonder what else she's being, you yeah. know, deceitful with. So it's interesting that Not you didn't problem. trust us, and now we definitely don't trust you. I'm not here to make friends. Well, uh, you're going to have to wait on that because I don't have the time to sit here and count out the gold. Because I had my own gold in there, so you're going to have to wait until I have time to sit down and count it out. Satine is looking at all of this, feeling very uncomfortable. Maybe another time. Uh, oh no, we're going. Quite. Uh, please walk with me. He just starts to slowly take off. Did you like give him the like, we're going. 
Um, right. And he, he just kind of like talks knowing you guys are behind him. I must apologize. Um, I understand that I have been quite forthcoming about this final trial and quite pushy as it has been shown to me and I have to apologize. Um, I just want you to understand that this is my purpose in life. When I was told and given the vision from Ravorhu that I would be putting together and leading this generation of guardians that I was quite excited and I have looked forward and planned and I just want everything to be perfect as you have already slain a dragon, which is quite, quite terrific. Um, you are surely making a name for yourselves. It is still my duty to make sure that you go through your final trial. And I'm just sorry that I have been so pushy. Okie dokie. We forgive you. Excellent. Don't apologize. Um, well, what I've decided is I will tell you what you need to know, and when you would like to go, simply find me, and I shall send you. Your final trial is called the Icarian. It is quite dangerous and meant to test all of your skills. Your teamwork, your dependence on each other, your magic, if any, your combat, your thinking skills, and your dexterity. I would make sure that you are full and ready to go when the time is right, and rely on each other, as that is why Ravorhu has brought you together. When it is time to go, I will give you the necessary scroll to teleport you there, and then you will be on your own to travel through the Icarian and find your way to the exit. You will find a gold chest that will have a few things for you. And then when you return, it will be time for your final ceremony as guardians. Go? Let's go right now. He's like, he's like, like give me this girl. <laughs> uh, because it sounds you have been having uh, decision-making issues only when you are all ready. Bev just looks at everybody else like, are we ready? <laughs> no, I think we need to take care of the Zan thing first. What there is, follow us there. there is also the um, continuing issue of Faymax and Gargon as well that we have to mess Someone with. Someone needs to help! Quite right. I believe after your trial you will have more luck with them. And, Chitter, there is no possible way that they will follow you to the Icarian. There is one way in and one way out. Well, in that case, we could just go to the Icarian and deal with the Zen thing later, if that's another option. Are we prepared uh, equipment-wise? I do have armor that's being made that I could vastly use before taking on a huge ordeal such as this. Okay. Does anybody else have any armor needs, weapon needs? I could use some to be made or reinforced, but that would take too long, so I'm good with what I got. I could go order something by the time we get back. Is there a bank in this town? There is. The one bank. Is it a reputable bank? It's a monopoly. It is not called the one bank. It is a reputable bank, as it is the only one. That doesn't make it reputable, it just makes it unique. It, it is it the one best, that the also... Tokars use. Okay. I, uh, I, get directions the bank of I get directions and I run there. <laughs> okay. Um, it is just south of the Tower District, so it takes you about 15-20 minutes. Uh, does, anyone, does anyone go with him? I'll be right back. <laughs> Do you want Thunder Kitty to go with you? No, I'm good. 
Pharaoh's like jazzed from Chad's excitement, so he just runs with, not even knowing where they're going. Okay. So Chad and Beowulf off to the bank. You you find it, and it is um, a very well looked looking building. Uh, it is marbled stone, and it appears very large. Not as large as because you can see the Tokar's towers from where you are. It is not as large as them. However, it is quite a large structure, and you can already tell that it is built um, to keep people out. Um, you see many glyphs and runes on the outside of the building um, from about two feet up to about five feet up. They are spaced ever so slightly. Um, and they're our guards uh, positioned just about 30 feet from the bank, and then there look to be um, guards that are more mercenary type that look hired hands to watch the bank. Chad, where'd you bring me? I didn't bring you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I go in. Okay. Um, you are, you are, you know, given at least a pat down um, and told no weapons to be used, no magic, um, and things are very serious here. Okay, my weapon's sheathed. They give Bearwell for the same. No weapons, no magic. Bearwell just gives a little... <laughs> Do you actually do the Eldritch Blast? No, 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 no. He just does like a mimicking thing. Okay. He shoots each guard. Boom, boom. <laughs> Points fall out of his hands. All right, you guys are gained entrance, or allowed entrance. As you enter, um, you do see uh, to the right two teller stations. Um, as you would see, uh, there is a counter, uh, barred, uh, where you can exchange with a teller who will put things away. Um, it's a small lobby, and you see about only 30 feet, a large, um, it looks stone wall uh, with just, um, it looks like the only entrance behind the wall is behind the counter, um, except for one door that is metal and is on the, the stone wall. I'd like to open an account you wait in line uh, behind one gentleman uh, who is making a very large deposit and is having trouble putting all of his gold in the appropriate sacks. Uh, but eventually it does make it. You come up and uh, the teller is an elf uh, who has uh, slick back uh, blonde hair, pointy ears, of course, um, is looking eye to eye with you. Um, an account, you say? Or do you have private vaults? We we do have private vaults, yes. How much are they? Um, per month, it is 5,000 gold, depending on the size. That's more than I want to pay, so can I just uh, make a deposit? You can make a deposit. We do have uh, very good records and very good vaults. Okay, I'd like to do that. Um, and they work out your name and, and your signet. How much uh, do you want to deposit? I'm going to message you on Discord. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do I not witness the amount of money he puts on the counter? Oh, you can't count back from one. You can't count that much, he... but it is it is quite a lot. He is putting forth, he is just emptying his bags, it seems. Um, They're and almost like bewildered by the amount of gold on the... There is, there is no amount mentioned, it is simply written, um, but there is quite a bit deposited. And there we'll see if you can try to snag one piece. And as soon as you do that, the guards that are standing close start to make their, even though you're with him, they start to make their way in. Uh, 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 uh. Do you have uh, business here, sir? I'm with him. No touching of other people's property. 
You can leave me. He stays right where he is. Can you escort him out? Very well, sir. Thank you. And another comes behind you, grabs you behind on the arms, and starts to just drag you out. In a reaction of being grabbed, uh, Bearwolf's gonna use... Uh, hang on. I think it's Misty Escape, where basically uh, I teleport in a mist of smoke uh, up to a certain feet away and turn invisible. Yeah, it's Misty Escape. Uh, page 109. If you need to look it up. Runes or anything at this bank that protects from spells being cast or anything? Oh, well, just a second. You can't teleport at Hogwarts. <laughs> Only if you're the headmaster. Also, Cooge, quit yeah. stealing my job. It's my job to know the page numbers. <laughs> I uh, had to look it up. In response to harm, they do not damage you, so you Aww. cannot use Misty Escape. Fine. Can I just do like a like a like a pitiful Eldritch Blast finger at Chad's back? Yeah, and as soon as you do, it dissipates and nothing happens. Oh, I was hoping like a little push. <laughs> nope, it just automatically fizzles. Okay then. Right. Makes an awesome, you know, sound. I think that, that that's just normal for Beryl's Eldritch Blast, and uh, like he's no big deal. They drag you out. Yeah, you hear this behind you, and you're like, oh, that's nice. And they, you, they, they bring you out 60 feet away from the door and leave you and return back inside. Uh, Beryl's Bear, going to use Dimension Door and say, right next to Chad. Uh, as soon as you try to cast Dimension Door and think about the bank, you feel blocked and guarded as you can't visualize being next to Chad. Okay. I'll give up at that point. <laughs> does he, like, end up in the Underdark? <laughs> no, the spell just does, has no effect. Okay. I finish my deposit and, and leave and go back to my friend's. And okay. I let Beowulf know that that's what I'm doing when I pass him. Okay. So about 40 minutes go by, and Chad, are you going with him, Beowulf? Yeah, I'm not going to okay. sit at the front door. <laughs> so Chad and Beowulf return. I'm ready. I'm ready for the trials, Tao. I'm ready. Are we going to do the trials and resume Zan's situation later? Yeah, they can't chase us. And all I do is want Zan, they're harmless to everybody else. Uh, well, I don't know about harmless, but... They didn't attack anybody in the temple. Is Chitter ready, or is Chitter still pouty? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> well, I guess that answered that. <laughs> nope, just sassy. We skipped the pout, went to sass. I will cut you. You are not safe from this. Bring it, bird. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What are you guys doing? A lot of I mean, infighting. That's what we're doing. <laughs> I mean, Chad and Bearwolf are ready to go to the trial. Like, if uh, we went to town, I guess, like, I I want to eventually, whenever we do, like, another shopping montage, I want to order some stuff, but I'm good to go. It's fine. I'm good to go. I just need to reinforce my armor at some point. I'll try to get it a little, little AC up, but that's fine. Are you excited about my new AC? Who knows what we find in the gold chest, too. Oh, yeah, I've been Whoa! forgetting all this stuff. <laughs> so, are we dealing with the Tractal? Or not Tractal, are we dealing with the uh, Famax thing, the Gorgon thing, the Assassin thing? Which, Whatever. The final trial thing? Which thing are we dealing the with final right trial. now? Final trial. And then we can go smite the other fools. Okay, now, because the only reason I say this is because Satine said as soon as we were geared up, ready to go, we felt our spells were ready. Do we feel like we're at that point? Because We just woke up, technically. The only thing that happened was Chad went to the bank for like an hour. I mean, I'm right. probably going to die anyway. I 
I don't mean spells Again. as in like That's we fine. need to be able to have our spells to cast. I mean spells as in like more powerful spells than what we're able to cast now. He can't be oh, as bad I, as Tractal. Right? I have a powerful right? spell, so I'm good. As well as, you know, some of us who are slightly squishy have armor that's being custom made. Squish, squish. So how soon is your armor ready? This is technically day two. Yeah. No, because yesterday was when everything uh, went down, and you guys were shopping yesterday. Right, so, to so today is day two. Right. I thought it'd be, like, just one day past. And... No, because I went there first thing in the morning, so right. he would have had all that morning plus today. <laughs> yeah, two days. So then it should be ready by end of day tomorrow, because he said three days, because I paid the extra gold. He said... Was it three days or six days? Because I paid uh, the extra gold. It was gold. originally six days, and then it went down. I thought oh, it was sorry, sorry, sorry. Three. Yeah, you, you three days. It was mm -hmm. two days until Davward's funeral. Oh, we have that. We need to. We need to deal it's, with as well. It was two days to Davward's funeral. Three days until that. Okay. So the funeral's so, today. So tomorrow? the funeral's today. That'd be tomorrow. Right. If it's two days, it seems like. I do think we won't have enough, to, even if we... It'll, it's it. tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Right. I mean, it's probably going to take so us So everything's day. tomorrow by the end of the day. Um, well, Davward's thing's going to happen a day before Zaini's armor's, armor is done. You were saying that uh, it gets done tomorrow at the end of the day. Thanks, Dave. Because I dropped it off the day before in the morning, so he would have all of that day, all of today... Then by end of day tomorrow. Right. Which is three days. Which means then Davard's funeral would be Mommy. by that count is today. Correct. That's why Mommy. we're checking with you. Mommy. Yep. Maybe we should do those things first and then go. What do you, what so do you do? why don't we why don't we let whoever wants to order armor go ahead and order armor in the meantime today? I guess I'll go order some armor in the meantime. And of course we'll be And then get ready for the funeral. Right, and we'll be alert to Zan's people. I feel like we derailed Boom's story today. <laughs> there's never a derail. Doesn't work like that. But there's always a derail. Well, what happened there's always in that a village? derail, but that's that's how Dungeons & Dragons There is no derails. real. If there's a derail, it's Tudor's fault. <laughs> Tell you something. <laughs> Technically, you can't derail if... See, if he hasn't prepared for it, you can't you can't be derailed. Right. But you only derail if I'm railroading, which I'm not, so Railroad. <laughs> All right. Anywho, so, uh so, so what are you doing? So plan of attack. Plan yep. of attack. Shopping montage. Woo! Okay. Oh yeah, I gotta go talk to that old lady, the creepy old lady. Old lady! Oh yeah, she is. You're gonna be late for that. <laughs> funeral. Funeral. She didn't wake me up. <laughs> funeral. Okay. I feel like I should write this down. Shopping for suits. Since, you're, since you're telling me. Well, you'll have the video feedback. <laughs> Do we get to be pallbearers? You'll have to find out. Okay. Shopping, funeral. Shopping. I yeah, might I drop it. Old lady. No, it is my family we're talking about. Bear has to go talk. To I might drop lady. you. Okay. Yeah I, I, yeah, I think Zan and Bear have to have a heart-to-heart a, a -heart discussion. You don't have to bring that up. He hasn't mentioned it. You don't have to mention it. <laughs> About what? Oh, I remember. Trust it, me. Yeah, but it's not been... Zen has been fuming about this for quite a few episodes. Zinies, you hush down there. Bear, I got your back. I, We're making I, enemies I, all over the place. I'm not discussing it. This is Zinies. I'm discussing feather. this as Dream so that Boom has the list and knows what we're doing. Psh, darkness. Disappear. <laughs> oh, so you want Ramus to die. I got it. No. I got, I got you. you I got you. Um, and then it, and then, so that should be, I believe, it for today. Is that correct? Pro probably. I'm checking with group. Is that correct? Okay. And then next day would be picking up armor. If it's ready that soon, yeah. Well, it, my, mine should be ready by that day, right, at least, so right. picking up mine. Um, I don't know if Chad wants to go check in on the crazy wisp before things get crazy. 
yeah i mean there's a whole basement of the wisp that we need to check out and i need to check out the entire store but i can always delay that we could also find out if um maybe there's someone who's interested in interning to give what's his face some help philip philip fragile philip fragile philip we can hold off on the Crazy Wisp storyline till later. We come back and Philip's like, I'm so overworked. I can't. <laughs> he's just in the corner, crying hey, in hey, fetal hey, position. We've sort of piled up. Philip is fine. Been there for two weeks. Philip, and that's... Philip is just fine. He knows how to get a hold of me and he hasn't. So everything's good. Gave him my number. So I believe that is the route. Can we have that re reread back to us? I have today. Shopping, funeral, Bear needs to go find his old lady, uh, whatever else you guys end up doing if that doesn't take up the whole day. Tomorrow, armor pickup. Sounded like we scratched crazy wisp management. Maybe final trial. Okay. That works. That's the plan of attack. You got 14 minutes. Do it. <laughs> okay, so here's what happens. You clapped your hands and your camera moved. <laughs> that listing game stresses you out. That's why you give it to me. Oh, I just want to get it done. If that's if that's what you guys if that's how you guys like to do it, so you I don't have to keep asking you, then I'll yeah. just that's fine. All right. What do you what do you want to shop for? We can we can RP it or we can just kind of quickly get the just give me in. daggers i just want to look for some daggers let's do it a stronger just, like a plus one one something. two I, I thought you just got a two plus daggers. i just got two shiz daggers i want plusy daggers wow my daggers aren't good enough for you <laughs> that actually does bring me up to something chitter when you go back to your room oh because you hadn't <laughs> hey, been there yet i forgot you do Read it up, uh, man. you do uh have your uh letter and uh, a parcel from the crazy wisp. Okay. Uh, in my fuming last night, I will have been like, what the fuck is this? While I, or no, while I was waiting for them to be, like, while it was quiet, while I was waiting. Yeah. You can, you can, okay. Uh, all right, here you go. <clears throat> Dear bird person, I believe I still owe you a dagger. I really don't know. Here's hoping. This dagger that I've sent is very special. It is a magical plus one. It has 46 of element damage that can be applied after a hit. This 46 damage regenerates every day but does not stack. You must attune to this item. The elements you may choose are lightning, cold, fire, and poison. You may only have one element chosen at a time and must set this during a short rest. I hope this makes us even the crazy wisp. While before it got to like the ending where he's like, I hope that I just like crumble it up and go, yeah, and I just throw it across the room. At least you didn't get the recycled paper. <laughs> so you have one dagger of the elements uh, now. Nice. Thanks. Okay, no more shopping. I, I, I'll go shopping, and I need to talk to the crazy old lady, so... No. Yeah. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, I just need to uh, reinforce, or either order some new armor that's reinforced or reinforce my own. Nah, where, would, order where would you like to go? black or leather worker because uh, I have uh, leather armor. You can go back to uh, leather and straps if you'd like, but you weren't there the first time. I wasn't, I wasn't there in the first place. Do you have a document on that dagger? Because it's not in the compendium. I was just wondering. It is not in the compendium. Uh, I, is that it the letter, dagger that letter, element? No. Okay. The letter basically has all the information, but I can help you make a make an, uh, thing out of it. Cool, I did thanks. not. I didn't make a special thing. I got you. I got. I see the. Um, there. quick question. Uh, somebody mentioned gardens goods might have bracers of art. Um, would they have leather goods? Maybe. Maybe. So y'all want to go try there? I I just need to get better armor. So it's up to you guys. Okay, uh, I would that. go with Enna because I'm always curious to try to find uh -huh. a good deal for since I'm lacking in so many things. So you guys are going to try Garden's Goods. Okay. Uh, Garden's Goods is, while 
let's see here. Ah, yes. Well, Galvin and Goodwins are somewhat close. Uh, it takes you over to the uh, west side of the city uh, to see Garden's Goods. Um, and as you enter, um, you see a familiar sight. There is uh, behind the counter um, a couple of, it looks like, human employees. Um, and the shop is set up in a similar fashion. You've seen this somewhat before. And uh, as you approach the counter, you see sitting on a stool um, a similar looking uh, gnome. Bearwolf shakes him. Hello? Hello. Is that the gnome talking? It is. <laughs> um, I'm interested in some leather armor. I've got leather armor. I've got lots of things to share with you. Welcome. My name is Garden. My good shop is better than any of my brothers. Garman, Garmin, Galvin, or Goodwin, come to Garden's Goods for all your super good needs. Uh, I'm looking for some other armor that could uh, take, take a hit, but also has some magical properties to it as well. He kind of sits up just a little bit. He doesn't do it slowly. It takes him about 30 seconds. <laughs> and as he rises, he starts, what are you currently wearing? I have this uh, studded leather armor of acid and frost or frost resistance. And just so you know, um, we're the ones, the guardians of Parna that uh, killed the dragon and saved the town. Oh. Goody, I can't contain my excitement. Sorry, I'm really getting choked up. Anyways, I don't believe that I have armor better than what you're wearing. I am sorry. All right, well, I can always go somewhere else. Sorry. That's fine. Uh I was told that you might have bracers of archery. Yes. Cool, how much? Is he supposed to be talking? Because he's definitely muted. He's, he's looking it up. Oh. I see that mouth a moving, yeah, but is. I hear no no words. Five hundred. Five hundred. Sold. Very well. Andrew, the thing. Uh, one of the human employees brings them to you, collects your payment. Are you aware of what they do? Tell me. Okay. Uh, you have proficiency with a longbow and shortbow. Requires attunement. You gain a plus two bonus to damage rolls on ranged attacks made with such weapons. Barrow's going to look over at Garden and be like, Hey, Garden, do you want to hear a joke? Yes. What do you call a three-humped camel? Prego. Wait, way to ruin it, Dream. Ha. Uh. Uh, uh, you know, some of us still have business uh, to conduct here. Uh, 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 uh. You broke <laughs> I'm done here. I'm going to ask him if there's any pauldrons or bracers that could be adorned and def like reinforce my, my current leather armor that I'm wearing uh, to, to help my, my armor and help me, uh, you know, I don't know tank a uh, dragon tail hit a little bit better seem to be wearing very expensive armor it looks <laughs> it's very nice did you but... get that from Goodwin no the, this was specially made for me 
by who? Um, I don't know. Is there a maker's mark on it? I can tell by the stitching. Good one. Well, I didn't know about you beforehand. I would have came here first. No, I don't have any bracers that would help with a dragon tail hit. Uh, do you have any magical rings or amulets for sale? Check the bin. And as Zynes has once seen just a place of like jewelry that may or may not be magical, they have just this small box with just amulets and rings and things. So it, it's, it's a grab bag or, or are they all um, or some enchanted, some not? You'll have to find out. How? He has to identify? Can, um... If he wants to. Can Zynes... Is, Zynes is there, right? Because we all went shopping? Yes, yes. Um, can Zynes cast um, <clears throat> Detect Magic? And then kind of like... Uh, no. Separate. Stop. Don't do that. Yeah, you cast Detect Magic. Um, what are we? Gonna... Yeah, what are we left with then? Zionies, are you looking specifically at the box? Yeah, I'll uh, kind of want to like, if there's like different rings and stuff, just kind of like hover my hand kind of over and see if I can get like a magical pull from them as I like go over it, kind of like a metal detector essentially, but magic detector. Well, the way the spell works, you see a faint aura around items that are magical. So this the counter behind you can see various items that have very faint glows some have bigger glows um, but over here uh, the things they let you guys touch and see um, in the box specifically um, there are one necklace and one ring that appear magical everything else is probably just I'll, uh, jewelry I'll grab the ones the, the ring and the, bra uh, the, the ring and the amulet and then I will hand them to Zan. Thank these you. Are, these are the ones you want. And then I'll, I'll hold them up to garden and ask him how much these are. Did you get them from the bin? Yes. Probably. What do you think's fair? That bin should just be normal jewelry. I usually sell it to people that are Looking to get engaged. Well, my good man, I'll give you a nice five gold for it. Both of them. It's got to be more than that. Seven gold? They look expensive, I can tell. Oh, well, I mean, I don't want to, you know, <coughs> have any kind of issues here. So how's 12 gold sound? It's quite a substantial offer from what I first... And you're the one who asked me to assess their value. Well, for both. Twelve for both? Yes. Fine. Uh, for the items that I can see with the auras behind, um, what item looks like it's got the biggest aura behind the counter? Uh, you make a perception check real quick. You see, uh, kind of a, uh, rolled up tapestry. Um, what did you say your name was, sir? Garden. Garden, thank you. Can I have a, a closer look at that tapestry that's up there, please? He gets one of the humans to bring it over, and it's actually in the back, and as they bring it up, um, it looks like a uh, thick carpet with uh, tassels on the side. Uh, sir, how much would you be willing to let this go for? That's a 5,000 gold coin rug right there. 
five that wow there's not gonna be a lot of people that can afford something like that no are you willing to barter depends um i'll produce the eight malachite and the um eight green alexandrites that i have and uh give them over to Zainis and tell her to use these as, as bargaining tools if she wishes. I will place them on the counter. Do they have a value? <laughs> uh, the green alexandrites are worth 500 gold apiece per DM. Uh, the malachites, we've never been able to get a gold value on yet. I will put it all on the counter. What's the total value? <laughs> Because the green alexandrites are, you know, that's 500 times eight. Or so, so 500 a piece. How many of those? There's eight. So that's 4,000. Okay. And then the another malachite. eight malachites that are good size, you said. Uh, smaller than my fist, I think, is originally what you had said. Well, I'll, I'll, that's okay. I will, um, I'll take the malachite back and, you know, and I'll put, and I'll take out one of the star rubies. <laughs> and I'll, and I'll lay that with it. How much did I say that was? 1k okay so so it's even you're just paying yeah. in gems yeah paying him in all in gems since uh i'll just make this easier on us and i will so less counting between us fair <gasps> i'm just gonna like pop it up on my shoulder Okay. I mean, you have room to put it in the bag now, Kappa. I do. Can, can I? Can I? Can I? Can I like roll it up tighter? You know, the bag hold. Um, yeah. I mean, all the eggs are gone. All the feathers are gone. Oh yeah, you probably have room in the bag. Um, yeah, this would probably fit in there. Okay, then I will put it in the bag for now until I can get a closer look at it later. I'll uh, take a closer look at that later if you want me to. Why I'm charging your rod. Rod's actually fully charged. Okay, you guys, that yeah, that's fine. So we should probably head back towards um, the temple so that we can start getting ready for the funeral. That's what Zainese will suggest to the group. I have one more thing to take care of before I head back. Just don't take too long. You don't want to get left behind again. Actually, while we're here, can I try? I just want to sell some daggers real quick, see if he'll take them. They just normal daggers. Just yeah, I have three to sell. Okay. Um, Actually, two, just two. What do you want for him? Um, what are you willing to offer me for these? Three gold. All that jewelry over there you were saying was mighty expensive. Mm. Can you give me 10 each? Are they magical? Yes, they make you younger. Really? Yeah. Like, yeah. Alexander, he comes over. Uh, may I? No. <laughs> to the temple. Actually, while we're here, I've got a couple of things laying around. I'll I'll, I'll see if uh, Garden's uh, interested in them, and I won't be so deceitful. Um, I'll uh I'll grab out uh a rapier, just a normal rapier, uh normal dagger, two plus one daggers, eight malachites, and um. A short sword plus one. So. 1500. For all of it? Yep. Can we do 2200, including the gems? 1550. I'd feel much more comfortable in letting this go at 1750. You see, as you start to barter, this like flat effect of a gnome starts to kind of raise in his seat, gets a little life to him. 16. 
you, you sir, you have great taste in, in getting these wares for me. So uh, but let's call it 1725 and, and remain friends. And I'll 16, come to you. 1625. 17, you know what? 1700 and I'll come to you before I ever think of your brothers ever again. That's a deal. Okay. Let's go ahead and add 1700. Thank you. Any other selling or shopping to be done before Bearwolf heads off to his lady? <laughs> no. Can we not call her my lady? <laughs> I don't like that. I, I think it's wonderful. <laughs> Grandma like gonna give you those gummy kisses. <laughs> no, we, no, we will absolutely call her your lady. We don't know about yeah. this lady, though. Are you going by yourself? I mean, I'm just going. I don't know if anybody I'll, else wants I'll to go with you. Oh, Anna wants to go. But we don't know where we're going, right? We're just following you around? Yeah. I mean, I, I said I had business to take care of, and you guys are, if you guys want to come along, you come along. Sure. I think it's unsafe to split up too much right now. No, Zainis is going to head back towards the temple to start getting ready. I'll follow Zainis. Therefore, I'm going with Barrel. What about you, Chad? What is Chad doing in the meantime? Lamenting that he took you to the bank. He's just, <laughs> he's just chilling. He's hanging with the crowd. All right. No, we see. Dan just because Dan is currently under. Yeah, okay. Ch Chad would go with Zen Falcon since he sees the need to protect. Okay. Well, once again, you guys will split the party and go in two separate directions, which is always a good time. Uh, we will stop there for the evening and pick it up next week uh, with Bearwolf heading to his lady, who he uh, has a favor to do for. I don't, I don't like that term. I hate all of you. I hate this game. <laughs> I hate this website. <laughs> I hate this series. 